She's funny. She knows that. She always seems like she's telling a joke to a bunch of people who are passing by. Like, He's she, right. doesn't, she doesn't get focused into it. She doesn't get focused into it. I think they might be on. Tell us when we're on. What? Are we on? <laughs> we're on. We're on. She's... Hi. Limo Talk. It's me. Ins41. Ins41.com. GothamGoldGrass.com, StrongHoundTV.com. We'll just talk and have a conversation with Teresa well, we have the no, whole entire we have night. No introduction. No, at all. no, I have. Yeah, I put music in the background. He's playing a little music. It's no, but I'm saying we had no in intro. No, no intro tonight. We, all, right. all right. So you wanted to right away with people just, like, see us. glide right into it. No, you see, the wires keep getting crossed. What I'm saying is, you play the intro music, play the whole fucking thing, but don't put on that stupid fucking picture. Cartoon. That whole stupid thing with the, you with the fucking rabbit ears in his fucking head and and me and and Rich looking like a like he's one of the our gang kids. Speaking of Speaking Rich, of, Rich is not uh, here. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. Say hi, and, Rich. And, uh, <laughs> and you were your, your glasses look like two chicklets on your fucking forehead. Yeah. And, and I'm like, I got to look at this the whole time. When you want to put the show on, I want people to tune in and say, oh, there's Bobby, there's there's Graz, there's and they can hear the warm up, they can hear the thing, get their drink, get ready, and and see it. I agree. And see us. But to sit there and look at that fucking picture, All right, which, by the way, Taz, Taz uh, as yeah. much as I'm knocking that picture, this new picture is fantastic. It, we like. Yes. It, it's really nice. This was a great job right here. I like this picture. And by the way, I don't always wear an usher's vest or a security uh, vest when I come here. This is I just left UBS. <laughs> the um, Practical Joker show just ended at like 7 o'clock, and I got out of there at 8.20. So... Uh, that was fun, but uh, yeah, but they told, st told stories the whole. They night. tell stories the whole night, and they had seven thousand people there to hear. Se well, stories. seven thousand people is a lot of people for people just coming to watch a guy, a bunch of guys do a TV show. I, really. I, I agree. Uh, so it was, it was a good crowd, and they really enjoyed it. I gotta say, these guys are fun, but it's like if me, you, and Rich went and got up on stage yeah. and did our thing yeah. on stage. Yeah. Although, I mean, I, I'll, I'll definitely tip the hat to them and say that they're a lot more polished and uh, they have a lot more material to do, to, to bring up and talk about. But we uh, we could do it. We could do something like that. I like the concept of it. They told a lot of stories. They did. They April 6th, well, you can do the little concept at MERS in Farmingdale for the Farmingdale Green Dogs. Don't forget on April 6th. That's right. Um, we right. have a show at MERS. Yes. MERS. Yes. In uh, what town is that? It's going to be 8 o'clock. No, what town is that? Oh, it's Farmingdale. What town is that? 8 o'clock. Just... <laughs> Where is MERS? 8 o'clock. <laughs> Uh, Farmingdale. Farmingdale. I forgot it's in Farmingdale. <laughs> yeah, it's on uh, Route One, uh, Route uh, Fulton Street. It's on Fulton Street. What street is it on? Eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> You're the host. You'll be busting my balls all. Who's going to be on the show? Mers. <laughs> Billy Geyer. <laughs> Matt Arvalo. Matt Arvalo. Eight o'clock. Kathy, Kathy Arnold. Eight twenty-five. The one who I, the one who I haven't pulled up yet. Who's sitting in our audience? Eight forty. Teresa Farrell. Kristen Tinsley. 860. Bonnie's <laughs> Bonnie She'll be on at 860. Justin McDonald and Michael Zimmerman. He'll be on at one time. Zimmerman. The following day. Hi, I'm Mike Zimmerman. We tell friends jokes about them. Okay, several years ago, I was doing a show of that verse. And then, can anybody hear me in the back? Um, <laughs> All night, and like, so like, so and, 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 and like the three people who could hear him up front are laughing hysterically, and everybody's going, What are they laughing at? Is he talking? <laughs> is he warming up no but it, it was uh but tonight was was fun it was like good i get there at 3 15 all right punch in ready 3 30 4 o'clock doors open early sunday it's great so um i look at the sheet i got a sheet from what the whole night was going to be i looked at it was supposed to be 6700 people look like eh, yeah maybe seven whatever yeah. right yeah. so they don't open the top they open up the lower area, the bowl, what they call, and the floor. So um, it, it was, you know, the seats in the 100s were half full, halfway up, and then the floor was filled. And they come right out, and they start doing their thing. They run out on stage, and they start doing their show, and 
the first thing they talked about was um, uh, the wig. Uh, and Murr always wears the wig. And it was um, Q, it was his hair. And he shaved off, he cut off the hair. And they made a wig out of it. And I found out that the wig cost $10,000 to make. $10,000 to make a wig out of his fucking hair. But they're making jokes about how, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of weed in that hair. Everything that uh, Q did while he was while he was in that hair, he's now walking around with it. You know, it's kind of a funny concept when you think about it. You're wearing someone else's hair. And if they were, uh, you know, no, Mer, Mer, there's three. There's Murr, the skinny guy. There's the guy who I think is very funny, Sal, and Q. And they didn't get rid of Joey Gatto. He was actually the funniest one of them all. And he's gone. I don't know. Everybody's telling me it's because of some personal thing going on in his life. But I don't even want to get into the speculation on that. But they were fun. They were a lot of fun. A lot of people were like, oh, the show's stupid. It's like, you know, they just sit there and talk. Well, that's what you bought the ticket for. That's what they do on this show. They're not going to do pranks on people in the audience. I mean, so it was just them telling stories about things they did to each other. That's basically what it really came down to. The stories about the hair. There was stories about uh, Murr's wedding and that he hired Smash Mouth to do his wedding, to do a song. The guy showed up drunk. The fucking guy from Smash Mouth shows up drunk and he didn't remember the name, the words of his own songs. <laughs> and then... Um, you know, stuff like, you know, just good stories. It was just funny. He's a funny guy. Oh, I, listen, my, my, my wife went to uh, school with one of them. I, I think it's Sal. And uh, she's, she's... Well, they're all from Staten Island. Yeah, she saw the rise of, of those guys from nothing. They, They've been doing it a long time now. Yeah, man, listen, oh, so we got to do shit like that, okay. you know? We're going to do pranks. We're going to play tr pranks on, on the... Uh, on, on our listeners. Right, so somebody actually, Greg DiFilippo is asking if Bobby's wearing it. All right, I just explained this fucking Greg, man. This is the, this is the, this is the, <laughs> yeah, I mean, people are shooting at me at, uh, at UBS, but this is our fucking uniform, right? So I go there, the, when we first started, when the place first opened, the security staff, I don't know who sat in on the meetings and, and come up with this shit, but they had to decide on what the uniform was going to be. Now, I work at Madison Square Garden, and you know damn well that the Madison Square Garden, because I wore it here, the Madison Square Garden uniform is a classy-looking uniform. It's a blazer, a tie, white shirt like this, and you got your tie, and uh, you wear black pants, and, and you look nice, you know? So why are we not on? So then... um. Okay. So you so you you wear the uh, uniform there. So that you, you know UBS now has an opportunity to come up with a really cool uniform. And I'm thinking they're going to pattern themselves. It's a brand new place. They're going to pattern themselves after the best arena in the world, which is the Garden, and maybe come up with a look like that. No. They came up with um, security was wearing red red vest. So we look like we were working at Kmart, right? We look like we're, uh, we're in the produce aisle at Kmart. And uh, we're doing sound check in the middle of the show, folks. Uh, yeah, is my mic on? It's just on. It's just on. Yeah, so we'll be back after these microphone <laughs> messages. But anyway, so, um, so the thing is, um, they came up with these red vests. So now we're wearing red vests. And it was just a red vest with the white shirt. And guest services is wearing black vests with the white shirt. And I'm thinking to myself, why are we wearing the red vest when they should be wearing the red vest? So they did. They flipped it. And now, but I'm thinking to myself, too, why are we wearing vests at all? Why don't we just wear a nice UBS shirt? Dude, I, I, we're fine now, Bob. It's working. Right. Um, I think you look very handsome. It's, good. it's nice to look on you. You do look good. It's a good luck, right? So anyway, so no, I'm not wearing a bulletproof vest. <laughs> yeah, that's a good... Also, he has one more question. May I, may he, he'd like let, to ask. Let him me. ask. He'd like to ask. Um, did I did I show up the other night, Saturday night, to come watch you perform? And were you, did you end up showing up? Does yeah, I did great. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, Greg, if you didn't uh, come, I knocked it out of the park. It was amazing. 
And uh, as a matter of fact, I got a lot of contract offers and shit like that to do shows. You killed. They want me to come on and, and smack the shit out of Will Smith at the Oscars tonight. But I said, no, I have to do limo talk. So, uh, you know, I, I have a lot of offers now. But um, shit yeah, my, we, we, listen, all kidding aside, I know for a fact that you were going to kill that. You were gonna kill that. I was going to be fucking hysterical, guys. Yeah. You you missed the greatest show in the world. Yeah, because I know, of, but you, I know you were going to kill. I, I know. I just know by the atmosphere that you were going to kill. Well, we would have uh, next time. Uh, you know, the thing is, when I get my opportunities to work at UBS yeah, or man. the Garden or yeah. whatever, and like I said, I weigh it out and I'm sitting there going, all right, so I'm going to sit there and say, um, I'm going to blow off work when I, you know, a couple hundred bucks Fate. for <laughs> seven minutes for seven minutes at governor's and, 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 and luckily maybe if I walk out of there with uh, a drink and, and 20 bucks, uh, uh, you know, Wait, what'd you get out of the whole Teresa show? Teresa wasn't giving a dime out. She held you on got to nothing. Oh, so pay. yeah. Would you, you pay? pay? All right. So, you know what, Teresa? What'd you're you in... get? I'm asking what you got. <laughs> I'm asking what you got. You don't want to divulge your uh, your lucrative uh, deal? Oh. Did you get so... over 100? Did you get over 100? No, no, no. No, no, no you're, you're in the audience. You're in the audience. audience until, until further. Did, until... did you get over $100? Uh, can I critique? Are you nervous about me critiquing? I'm going to say something nice. Don't worry about it. No. I had I had to tell you, I thought you killed. I thought you did very well. I thought Kristen was a great host. I thought Kathy Arnold kicked it out of the park. Kicked it. Didn't knock it. She Not, yeah, it. she knocked it out of the park. What I did notice from the other comedians is they focused on that middle table. There was one lady that was constantly talking to the middle to, to each comedian that was coming up there all night long. She talked to Rocco Perillo. She talked to the, the Marine. What was the Marine's name? Yeah. No. But it's just what it did was it took away from the it took away from the audience a little bit. So when I turned after the show and I said, wow, Teresa really did good. And, and Tommy and Palazzari, who was is Bobby's friend, was behind me. I turn around. I go, I give it a B. She goes, you know what? She goes, I give it a B plus. I said, OK. The overall, yeah, the overall was was a B. All right, I just think that the comedians. Yeah, if have Teresa's to... is anything like me, it's like, how did I do? Everybody else, I don't give a shit. Yeah, uh, Teresa, you killed, and, and you made you made you you brought a lot of life. I think I think Kathy Arnold brought a lot of life. Kristen was a good time. Listen, nobody bombed for a good time. Call Kristen. Nobody bombed, but I just think that they focused on this one girl in the middle of the the place, and she was and she was dictating. Yeah, but I think he was a little nervous. He's not really. He's he's trying. Wait, What's wait, his wait. name? Ginsburg, right? What's his first name? Nick Ginsburg. Are you ignoring me because I'm saying his name? Yeah, I thought. Wait a minute. He, he took his shirt off. What the fuck for? Yeah, he had a. Yeah, he's got a nice. He's got a nice body. I'm not, I'm not saying that. So that's what we come down there for. Watch this guy take his fucking shirt off. Get no, out. I. I, I Uh-huh. All right, good. So I'm glad I didn't go. All right, fuck. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm glad. I, well, we, you know what? We you had you had like eight people sitting in the corner waiting to see you that night. So I had eight people in the corner. Yeah, you. you uh, I. I listen. And if they only knew the good shit I was going to say. Yeah, and I think by the by the the, the way that the, the room, how I was seeing it, I, I was actually quite prepared for that night. But eh, what are you going to? Kathy's a natural. I like Kathy Arnold. I think she's she does very well. I think you have uh, you have progressed phenomenally from where you were a few years. You're ago. You're the up and coming star. No, I You're just be, you're like Paul Abdulon. Paul Abdulon. What do you call that? Fucking what was it? Uh, American Idol. Everybody come up. I watch all these people singing, and I say, "This girl sucks. That guy sucks. This guy blows. This is horrible. This is fucking terrible." Oh my god, you're such a talent. You're gonna be a star. You're going to be a star. And he's like, who's going to be a fucking star? Yeah, be yourself. Just be true to yourself, and you're going to be a star. And I'm like, 
I hate this fucking show. So uh, going back to when Paula Abdul and, and Simon, who's at least honest, I'm going to say, that was god-awful. You know, that was you, you just boring. You know, I'd be like, yeah, Simon. I love Simon. Simon's great. And the other one was, um, uh, you know, uh, Jackson. He was like, yo, dog, you know, we're going to you know, uh, listen. Check it out, dog. You know, uh, the only one you got an honest answer out was uh, it was Simon. And Paula Abdul, uh, everyone's like, she's smoking bong hits and shit while she's waiting for them to finish singing. And she go, I hey, that was good. You're going you're gonna to be a star. You're going to be a real star. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So they replaced them, and they got what? Steven Tyler, Jennifer Lopez, and and then it got... Yeah, I, I said Nick Ginsburg. Uh, all right, so I'm in the middle of a story, and we're going to yell out Nick Ginsburg. I didn't. I, I, what the no. fuck? This is... <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Let me interrupt what I was saying. Nick Ginsburg? Is that who it was? Okay. Uh, hey, we, we've already we've had a yeah. It's it's, it's not like, my turn. It's like there's there's like one one speed bump after the other. <laughs> wait, wait a minute here. Don't be considering me a speed bump, okay? A speed bump. You're a fucking pothole. Oh, you know what? Well, here's what's going on from the pothole. Richie Zarelli is not here with us tonight. Richie's in Cortland following his son on his baseball endeavors. Does the kid know he's watching? Yes, he does. <laughs> he's but following he's, his son. He went all the way. I think he went to Florida. The kid pitched to two batters yesterday. He, he got struck one guy out, and the guy got a hit. And that was oh, it. they pull him out after that. Fuck yeah, that. He gave up a hit. Get out of here. Tell your father to go home. No, no. So they're following him around. <laughs> so that's it. He goes all the way to where? Uh, I think he's in Florida watching. Went to Florida. Nick is in uh, South Carolina right now. For playing for Nassau? For playing for Nassau. Oh, nice. Who are they playing against? Other teams oh, from stop. the area. <sighs> I forgot who they played. I don't even know. I think they're playing. Uh, they might be in the World Baseball Classic for all I know. I don't even know. Vito Frisia, by the way. A little shout out to my Valley Stream friend. Vito Frisia is playing for Team Italy. I saw that. And I'm rooting for them. Did you see the play that third baseman made? Are you having no, I'm talking about Vito Frisia. All right, Vito it? is playing. He got on the team. Mike Piazza is the manager. And Vito is on Team Italy. And I'm rooting and hard he for He is in the Philadelphia Phillies system. And he played for one of my Colts teams in the Valley Stream Baseball League for years. And Rothy says she misses Richie, but uh, she's looking forward to tea time coming on. Nicole Narayan, I got it right. She's coming on. She's she's going to do the 10 at 10 tonight. You were worried about pronouncing Nicole? Yes. Well, supposedly she had a couple of changing names or something like that. I don't know. All I know is I Nicole Narayan. Yeah, I will ask her that. You know, we're pretty honest about different things. She's coming on. Renee Fuentes is supposed to be coming on tonight. Renee's supposed to give us a call because he's angry because during the MERS night, I didn't put him on there. I forgot all about him. And pulled Michael Zimmerman. Well, was he there? No, he was supposed to. So be how the fuck did you put him on? He's supposed to be show performing up. April sixth, and I forgot I already promised him that. And he goes, "Are you out of your mind?" So he's not too happy. So Renee Fuentes might give us a call tonight. So. Yo, check it out, dog. Check it out, dog. So anyway, what have you been doing? What did you do this week? I just got back from. So the- Teresa, was it Gold Ginsburg? <laughs> <laughs> was it Ginsburg? <laughs> yeah, asshole. Yeah, asshole. <laughs> Come on, you can might as well come up and hang out yeah. with us. Yeah, we're talking to change, Teresa. change. Oh, uh, you know what, Teresa? Let me tell you something. Don't get me angry because I've been tempted to fucking show up on your show and just plop my ass. You can Hi, be everybody. doing everybody. Yeah, it's Teresa Farrell from Tea Time with Teresa. She's dressed in her Oscars best tonight. Yes, I and am. She'll be snuggling up to yeah. Bobby yes, the I whole evening. Be. Get my wife's name <laughs> out your fucking mouth. <laughs> Jimmy did a great. Opening for the Oscars tonight. Well, we don't know that. Because Jimmy Kimmel. Yes. I just Jimmy read something. Somebody said Jimmy Kimmel sucks. No. And he was fucking horrible. No. And I'm so glad. No. It was good. It was good. You look, know. Oh, hold on a second. You know, you're you only. You you're folks, share funny. the show, please. Peter Barton. You're, Peter Barton. You're only as you funny something. as your writers. Right. I, okay. Please, please. Uh, everybody, try not to, 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 to step on anybody tonight. Okay? Yeah, we, that's the rule. Uh, that's the rule. Please share the show, everyone. We will be back uh, probably next week. Looks like. Uh, Richie will be back. Teresa will not be here, but she might be part of the 10 at 10 for 10. Because oh, right? we want to have a broad on every week. A oh, broad on every week. Nicole's like, why am I getting myself involved with these fucking idiots? Who said this? Nicole Moran. No. Hello, Greg DiFilippo. All right. 
Well, anyway, Peter Barton wrote, he put on his uh, page, Peter Barton was uh, in the movie Halloween. Yeah. And he was in a couple, of, he was in a soap opera. He was in, he was an actor. So I, he was from Valley Stream, from Franklin Square, actually. Mm. And um, don't act like you're listening. <laughs> She's not. Teresa, could you share the show? So, we seem to do so, well when you share it for us. So he said, he goes, I saw two minutes of Jimmy Kimmel. I'm out. I'm done. Why? I don't think Jimmy Kimmel's funny either. Some of the writing was funny. I'm going to say uh, some of it was funny. Let's not just throw compliments out when they don't deserve I'm it. Just, I don't really like award shows. Anymore. I don't either. I hate award shows. I won't watch them. Yeah. I think it's all woke. Well, you know us women are looking for the fashion. You know, we're looking to see who's wearing what. You know, seems to be cleavage is the uh, subject. Hey, this is what really gets me about year. the whole women thing, right? Women with their the, the, what's in their opinion. They don't want to be looked at as sex objects. They want to be treated without sexual. You see, I, you should. <laughs> but the thing is, then, then they get all upset. Yep. When somebody says something sexual about them, yep. yet if you watch TikTok, if you watch any videos that are on fucking Instagram, all over Instagram, they're just showing off their breasts, Assets. asses, yep. bear this, bear yep. that, tape, tape, and tape being on them. They're in a fashion show, and all they got is tape. Around their tops. So their you bottoms. tell me, you see almost everything. What mixed signal? And fucking explain this to me. What mixed signal are we sending people? That you you don't make comments, you don't say anything, you don't you don't act like that woman is a sex object or anything like that. But then they're gonna do all this shit all day long. You will you will go through TikTok right now. You'll see about thirty videos, fresh, brand new, from the last hour of of, of some women uh, bending, you know, spreading their legs, bending over something, whatever the fuck, with their shirts open. All right, I'll take like the that. down. I'll take it uh, down. Good. I'll take the picture. <laughs> <down>. <laughs> I mean, come on, send the real message. If you got a message, send it. Stick to it. Don't fucking bullshit me. I'm sick of this shit. So that you don't even watch it, right? Of course I do. I watch hours a day. <laughs> What are you fucking kidding me? I, I was talking more of the Oscars, not the Inter Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm driving around all day. I'm like, woo, another one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, it's just uh, in the Oscars. I have not watched the Oscars. It's so fucked up that last year I did, though. And last year I tuned in. I happened to be talking to somebody on the phone. And I'm sitting in my room. And I turned it on. I was like, oh, the Oscars are on. Because what, the, what we were really looking to watch was American Idol. Which I fucking can't believe either I watch. But so I put on, oh, the Oscars on. And, and I'm watching. And Chris Rock, I love Chris Rock. He mm -hmm, comes up on the stage mm -hmm. and he starts doing his shtick. And I sit there thinking to myself, how long will it be? This is what I do. How long will it be before Chris Rock makes some sort of racial joke? Go ahead. Wait. But he didn't. All I heard him say, he goes, he's saying hello to some people in the audience. And he goes, Hey, he goes, Jada, Jada something Smith. He goes, G.I. Jane number two, G.I. Jane two. Can't wait. Right? Right. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty fucking funny. She's and born. Will laughed his ass he off. He laughed. Until he turned and looked at her and she didn't look too happy. Yeah, her little her little bald head And then she steaming. said something to him. And, and he, that's when. And know. then he walks up the stage like he's Mr. Tough Guy protecting his wife. It was all orchestrated in his fucking douchebag head. Just to go up there and smack Chris Rock because he's going to show his wife that he's a manly man who can just knock out anybody who says anything bad. The only reason he went up to Chris Rock, he would never have done something like that to a guy like Dave Chappelle because Dave Chappelle would have fucking planted him. Oh, yeah. But Chris Rock is a little guy. like He's like a black Danny DeVito. Well, you know, and, 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 and he fucking knocks him in the head. Well, on his special, he said, you know, he played Muhammad Ali. I played Pookie in New Jack City. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, his special was great. He, he he's 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 a, a great comedian. He really is. Everybody knows. Everybody fucking knows. Yes, it happened. I got smacked like a year ago. Like last week, I got smacked at the fucking Oscars by this motherfucker. People like did it hurt? It still hurts. <laughs> I got summertime ringing in my ears. <laughs> yeah. Fucking drugs, please. But I'm not a victim, baby. You will never see me on Oprah, Gail, crying. You will never see it. Never gonna happen. I couldn't believe it that I love men in black. No. It's never gonna happen. No. Fuck that shit.
I took that hit like Pacquiao. So and so. So he he came back hard on him, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, but wait a minute. He didn't say a word the next day. Didn't say a word the next week or the next month. Waited a whole fucking year until mm-hmm. he was doing his Netflix uh, special, which is that in from, her hometown, right? In, in her, her hometown, hometown. With that he always does stuff in that town anyway. But he waited, and I give him a lot of credit for waiting. I also give him a lot of credit for being smart enough to wait a year until the Oscars were coming on the That's right. next week, mm-hmm. and he fucking did his response. I agree. If I'm correct, he got paid forty million dollars for that, and two hundred and seventy million people tuned in live that night. All I know is they were talking about it around the water cooler the entire. Oh, week. of course. That, yeah. You know, I think he, I think he responded perfectly. So do I. I think he did I, a great I job. I think the, that. I think the, the, at the ending when he goes, you know, let's talk about Shug, Shug Smith. That's a great line. That's a fucking great. The line. funny thing is, um, it, you know, Will Smith actually made a total asshole out of himself that night and it was all fake wasn't real emotion it was real let me show my wife i'm somebody let me show my wife i'm manly let me show my wife i'm something that's going to protect her like she needed protection what he could have yelled out from his seat you know hey shut the fuck up asshole or something like that and people would have been laughing or whatever right right. but but he got physical later on talk to her and talk to him and say you know that wasn't right you fucking make fun of my wife you know she's got a fucking uh she needs a chia pet on her fucking head. She, you know, you know it's, she can't. You know she can't grow hair. I mean, whatever the fuck it is, I don't think he even knew there was a condition. But whatever. So, um, the the thing is, that whole thing where he goes, he sits down and he goes, "Get my wife name." I can't not see him say that now. Anytime I see him in a movie, I see his big fucking mouth saying, "Get my wife name out your fucking mouth." <laughs> And that's all I can fucking see when I look at him now. I can't yeah. even think of anything. But else. you know what? There was a lot of shit going on. They were. She was. I think allegedly she was cheating on him. Well, he mentioned that. She on, the on, the on the special, he mentioned it. He said, "Nothing up then. We've all been cheated on. We've all been cheated on. Okay. But how many of us I'll, interview? I'll, I'll find that. I'll, I'll find that. For you. Well, how many of us? I get saw the interview. I saw the interview. Yeah. She, she slept with the son's. Friend. Best friend, her, who's her, a, her son's best friend, right? Yeah. Who's a who's a who's a uh, sitting across a singer. from her husband saying, you know, I had a moment, I was going through something, and he's sitting there like listening to them. So Chris Rock was funny. He's like, uh, tell us what it was like when you started sucking <laughs> on his dick, <laughs> and he puts the mic. You know, I'm like, oh my god, I'll find that boss. It was <laughs> I mean, crazy. It was crazy. It's it was funny as hell that he you know, he did that. That was like he did that for the last like ten minutes of his yeah, special, and uh, it, I thought it was pretty fucking funny that it he was. did, and I thought it was pretty cool that he he kind of kept he kept quiet about it the whole year. Said yeah. nothing. Yep. Said nothing. Waited for the right moment. Yep. I give him a lot of credit for it, mm-hmm. and I really can't stand. And I look at it, and then Will Smith comes out with a statement saying. I'm hurt. I'm embarrassed. I'm mortified that he said these things about me. What you fucking idiot? You hurts, got up though. out of your seat the truth and you fucking slapped the guy in the face on national television with 100 million people watching. Yeah. We found it. Everybody call that man up. He hit it home. He had to hit it home. If you didn't see it, watch it. It's on Netflix. No, we'll see. It's only three more minutes. <laughs> well, I nothing to this motherfucker, okay? This, whatever. Years ago, his wife said, I, I should quit the Oscars. I shouldn't host because her man didn't get nominated for Emancipation. The biggest piece of shit ever. You got it wrong. Okay? This 
you fucked up his joke. Yeah, fucked up his joke. Crazy, watch it. It's on Netflix. If you get Netflix, watch it. It's worth. Well, watching. I was very good. I, I I liked the way he came back at him and really fucking brought it home like that. <laughs> so that was good shit. But um, that's it. No, I'm not, say it like I, Chris I, Rock. I, that was good shit. Yeah, I don't even. I never tried yeah, but, to imitate. But Chris that's Rock. brought the most out of that that thing. I wanted to watch. I wanted to watch the the, the show now because you never know what's going to happen. Maybe somebody else might. They have crisis teams now. That they're. Oh yeah, they yeah, have people, people in place. Yeah, yeah. We were going to talk. Well, it's funny because yeah. we were supposed to talk to Tony Carey, who's yeah. the Hollywood producer, friends with Richard Zero. Right. He knows all the gossip and what's going on. Yeah, there. Yeah. He says he's going to let us in on some stuff yeah. when he calls in. And supposedly tonight we were supposed to have Jackie the Joke Man Martlin tonight, right? But that's he's waiting in his car. Right is he now. waiting in the car? Yeah. <laughs> is it a surprise guest yeah. from you tonight, Teresa? No. No, he's not coming. I think he's going to come either next week or the weekend. I don't know whenever you're. Come April sixth. He'll, he'll do a show with Merz. Show up at Merz. Don't be mad at me. I was. I'm not. I'm not mad at you. I Why would you be mad at you? I thought you were a little mad at me because I was critiquing the show. I I'm thought... not. Listen to me. I don't get mad. I get even. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not putting you on the spot. I I'm think joking. you did a fucking good job. It was a good you know job. And last night I did another good job on Ann LaPuma's show in the Giggle Room. But didn't you say it was a little awkward in there? No, it wasn't awkward at all. We had uh, Carl Okerson was there and John Santo and Oscar and uh, who else? Ann hosted me. Jen, it was another older gentleman. He's not on the flyer, so I can't mention him. I'm sorry. I only met him last night. It was um, 90% lesbians, lesbians uh, in the audience. Really? And, yeah, so I How do my, you know that? I don't, because, I mean. It, it, there's uh, a it smell was, in the room that you. No, because <laughs> everyone had not. short hair wearing Birkenstocks. No, I'm joking. Um, no, I mean, it was, it was it, because the previous they comments. They were in Cologne called, no, hey, fuck off, mister. No, they, um, no, because they, they made it known. It was, it was, uh, so I, I told like, So the audience made it known that they were all lesbians? Yeah, well, because Anne LaPuma hosted and it was a fundraiser and yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a lesbian crowd. It was great. They were great. So I was like, you know, I, you know, I went to college and I wanted that Girl on girl college experience. You did. Oh, hold on. But unfortunately, well, do we have any soft relaxing music? <laughs> that we, we no, put on? when you're in college, that's when you're supposed to experiment. You know what I'm saying? And you're supposed to have that girl on girl experience in college, and it didn't happen to me, people. And I don't know why. I'm kind of cute. I thought, you know, maybe someone would hit on me eventually. So I said to them, it didn't happen. Yeah, there's something I fucked said, up. But, but About that. my first kiss was with a girl. Really? Yeah, I was six. Oh! <laughs> and so you I just go, ruined the whole fucking no, so I thing. Said, does that count? No, it and does not like, count. No, it doesn't count. No. <sighs> and then I was telling them how. Eight, Wait a minute, you were six. How old was the girl? She was six. We were both six. Uh, so you don't, we were little. Eighteen. Uh, uh, we were like in Girl Scouts right, or Brown. Please get away from the subject. All right. Anyway, all right. So anyway, I don't want to hear about your six-year-old <laughs> encounters into the other well, side. But we wanted to practice. So we knew how to kiss. So you boys. guys practice together at six years old we to practice, try to learn. But I call it a movie kiss. You know when you press they had your a, lips. They had a double sided lollipop. You just press your lips against each other. It wasn't like tongue wrestling. Hello. Uh, it was just pressing. You know, it was like. Did you a get movie to the tootsie kiss. pop yet? Did you get to the tootsie? <laughs> <laughs> How many licks does it take kiss. to get it's, to the it's, it's called anyway. the T-spot. Oh, my God. The T-spot. The T-spot. I got a T-spot and a G-spot. I got both. How many licks <laughs> to get to the center of it? <laughs> Felix Restuccia says it's true. I wear Be Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks? Birkenstocks. No, so, and I'm a lesbian. I love women. So, Laugh out loud. So last night I said, because <laughs> uh, Anne's going, okay, who here's a... Uh, an L for lesbian. Okay. So everyone raised their hands. Okay, who here's G? 
gay, gay man, right? right? Who's here's a T. I thought when you first said it, you were like, who hears? Like, who hears it? Like, so she goes, who's general? Right. General. General means, you know, like, I guess, like, you're on the cusp or you're, like, willing or something. So when Ian walked away, I'm going, I get up on stage and go, I'm general! I'm general! Uh, my mother's very progressive. She's going to be 85 years old. She said, Teresa, close, close your eyes. A tongue is a tongue. Oh! No way. Wow. I'm waiting. A, we're waiting a phone call from Nicole and Ryan imagine? for the 10 at 10. She says, I called three well, times. We're in the middle of a story here. Bob, is our line open, please? Yeah, well, I want to stand at 10, man. Anyway, so <clears throat> eight years ago, eight years ago this month, I had my brain first surgery. Encounter. Oh. I had my brain surgery. So I was telling everybody that, you know, I have two titanium plates. I get free Wi-Fi wherever I go. And if anyone after the show would like to come up and touch my head, they can. <laughs> Where did you get the brain? Was that the Abby Normal brain? <laughs> Abby Normal? Yeah. Uh, so he... actually, one of the lesbians came up to me and she hugged me. She goes, you were so freaking funny. Can I touch your head? I go, sure, good. <laughs> Really? Yeah, she touched my uh, well, my my titanium plates. Over. Oh. Plates? My my bumps, my 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 bolts. Greg uh, wants to know the next thing. Feel you, my I'm bolt? A, I'm not gonna cop a cheap feel off <laughs> Do of you. Do you want to feel plates. my bolt? Do Filippo oh, no. wants to know next thing you know? T will be talking about frozen hot dogs at the age of fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know you're at a gay barbecue? Ow. All the hot dogs smell like, taste like shit. Five one six nine four five nine zero nine nine. We're expecting a phone call from comedian. Hello. I'm on the phone. You're Hi. On <laughs> Load of music. You're on the phone. Hello, Nicole and Ryan. How are you? Hi. I'm Nicole. good. How are you? I'm good. How's everything? This is uh, the gentleman in the middle. Is Bobby Inns, 41, and Zarello, and I think you know uh, Tea Time with Teresa, Teresa Fowles. Is that correct? Absolutely, I do. We go way back. Are you looking forward way to- Way back. Are you looking forward to being the one of the first people to, to be in the 10 for 10 at 10? I'm excited. I uh, I have no idea what to expect. I told my parents not to listen, but everyone <laughs> else to get involved. <laughs> so, um, there are many prizes comment coming on one away thing you... about the Chris Rock thing? Yeah. Well, go ahead. Uh, I just feel like they had an opportunity last year because after that shit went down, they came back, right? And it was like, all right, how do you clear the air? And the next presenter to come out was P. Diddy. And it was like, how do you not make a bad boys for life joke? Like, P. Diddy was the one who did the song for bad boys for life with Will Smith in it. Like, I don't know. I, just felt like it was I think everybody was just in shock. That's yeah. why. Yeah. I honestly There's thought at the time. <laughs> I thought on the time at the time that the whole thing was staged. We talked about that, and I weeks. really believed it, and I still mm, not totally mm. convinced either. Nicole, we talked about it because for weeks. the money they're making off of this has been phenomenal. And Chris Rock, if you really come down to it, was uh, kind of like on a downslide in his career, and now, now he's making more. Back. He's making more money than he ever exactly. did. Exactly. You have to go away to come back, as they say. Well, that, that'll, I'll take that as a uh, piece of advice for me. <laughs> Nicole, can I ask a couple of questions first? Ab absolutely. Do you have like an alter ego or a different name or something like that? Because I was, I, I apologize, but I know you're Nicole Narayan, but I also got like a yeah. friend request for something else. I, I, I don't know. I'm just asking. So Nicole LaMonico is my real name. Okay. Um, it's like my, my birth name, um, Nicole Narayan. I am also, in addition to doing comedy, I am a spiritual healer. And Narayan happens to be my spiritual name. And I've created my whole business around that side of my life. So okay. um, it just so works. Wait, you, you're Italian. It, it, yeah. Yeah. She's Italian. What is that? You're Italian girl. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Italian. La Monaco all the way. <laughs> all right. Can we go with that? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. She you could just say whatever you can want. We go, can we hyphenate? <laughs> uh, uh, do I hyphenate Nicole uh, Monaco and Narayan? Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I do too, actually. Yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe. I, I, Nicole I Lamonaco Nine Iron. Nine Iron. <laughs> no, it's Narayan. <laughs> not, oh, not Nine Iron. Oh, I thought it was Nine Iron. I, was, I just put myself nine in iron. the sand dunes. Oh, my God. Hey, if you cross me the wrong way, it might be Nine Iron. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. 
All right, Nicole, we're <laughs> gonna get you ready. You ready for the ten questions at ten for ten? And it's actually ten oh four. All right. So we're gonna take away us. four questions. <laughs> All right. Who's your favorite All comedian, right. Nicole? Uh, I really like um, Bo Burnham. Who? Bo Burnham. I never heard of him. He is, You never heard of him? Oh no. my god, he's amazing. Uh, write down Bo, Bo Burnham. Burnham. Yeah, he is. You gotta, you gotta look him up. Not Burn Bomb. He's great. All right, so Bo B Bo Burnham. Burnham right? Never heard of him. I never heard of him either. Yeah. Where's he in the city, or is he is he pretty famous? No, he's got like he's pretty famous. He's got Netflix specials, and he's got one that's called Inside that he made during COVID, and it's just fucking brilliant. And I love him so much. All right, well, I'm gonna look it up. Well, he, yeah, definitely. See, we, we, we discovered somebody new tonight that we can look at and listen to. Bo Burnham. Bo go. Burnham. Thank you, uh, yeah. Nicole. Thank you, Nicole uh, Domenico hyphen uh, Narayan. Oh, <laughs> nine nine. Nine nine. Uh, it's it's uh, Nicole like Monaco. Like nine nine. That's gonna stick, Nicole Nine Nine. Yeah. All right, second question. Besides comedy, what's your favorite hobby? Um, uh, eating. Eating? I love I love eating. <laughs> really? I'm just getting well, that's a picture. prerequisite. For Everybody Italian. likes but, you're we're, we're fucking Italian, man. You got of course you love I eating. I know. It's like more it's part of my like whole life though. But no, I guess my my other thing besides comedy is the other thing that I do, which is Reiki and yoga and meditation mm -hmm. and um ultimate relaxation sessions which are, are an all face up treatment that is all scalp face neck hands feet um Shwinky? hot towels essential oils it's super relaxing it's just a beautiful session and it's who does so this? i guess if you say i have an alter what's that where, where do you go for this service <laughs> he wants to make no, an I, appointment I, I i i do this service really yes. yeah what town do you yeah, live in yeah I, I want I, oils I and ointments it. rubbed. Uh, all. You, you want yeah, no, you, you want oils, that. ointments. You want rocks on your on your back. You want you want like a, a towel all over your buttocks. You know what I'm saying? Right? A buttocks. Your buttocks. Um, wait I a mean, minute. Who doesn't like a good feeling? You know what I mean? So that's what I, I do like a good my, feeling. My other time. Is, so I I get. <laughs> I, I get I'm in need of a good feeling. And I perform those sessions. Really? Uh, so oh wow. All right, so wait a minute now. Can you I, I, make I, an appointment, Bobby? Yeah, text, text me. All right, well, just so you know, Nicole, I don't know if my board op is listening in, in his in his hotel room in Cortland or uh, or uh, Bobby Lacerra is helping us out, but Robert Pickering Bo Burnham was born in 1990. as an American comedian, musician, actor, and filmmaker. His work combines elements of filmmaking with comedy genres such as music, sketch, and stand-up often with a dramatic or tragic twist. Would Correct. that be the description of Bo, Bo Deedle, or whatever? <laughs> Bo Burnham. That, 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 that's a perfect description of him. Uh, all right. Wait, this guy's like 30 years old? Yeah. 30, yeah, 30, he's amazing. 33. He's right. probably like 34 or something, yeah. I think. 33. All right. 30, yeah. 33. Third okay. question. What's your favorite sports team? My favorite sports team. Um, I don't really have a favorite sport. Does your um, boyfriend? Can you ask me another question. Can you think of something else to ask me instead of that next, question? <laughs> next, just say next. All right, bongs, joints, next. or cigars. 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 Favorite sexual position. Did you ask the same girl this last week? It's the same questions all the time. Oh, Go with it, God. all right? Yes, it's the same it's question. It's good to know that you question. tuned in last week, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I pay attention. Um, um, you know, I guess the... Personal. I, I don't. I, I. I don't know. I guess you know. Sixty nine is always a good time. <laughs> yeah. All right. It gets right, the well. it gets the most out of them. Uh, go ahead, Bob. You got anything to add to the sixty nine? So much of my angelic uh, thoughts about you. I mean, you were like you. you you're into. We go to sixty nine. You don't ask somebody well, who's know, talking when, about spiritual you know, stuff about what about, sexual no, position. I mean, I'm saying that because they're spiritual numbers. There you really? go. You look there at them. See, I knew there had yeah. to be yeah. something spiritual. It's all connected. That was the reason why I picked it, because it's a spiritual number. Either way you look at it, it doesn't matter if your interpretation. You don't have to look at well. it. You just got to do something with it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for your other question, which I think you'll enjoy. When, masti right. when masturbating, oh my God, do you use your left hand, your right hand, both hands, or a toy? 
Who came up with these questions? Hey, Keith, this is mental yeah, case. Who did right next to me. This is a quick, legitimate question for the 10 of 10 of 10. He needs help. When masturbating, he, left hand, right, right hand, hand, both hands, or toys? Just ask them, answer the question. It's not that hard. <laughs> both hands. Both hands. All right. Oh, God. Are, they both, are they both in the same area? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting into detail. <laughs> All right, no details. I mean, you got me. You get me into the question now. I want to know your favorite actor. My favorite actor is um, who's actually talented. Let's see. Um, I mean, Meryl Streep is great. Um, mm -hmm. I, like I guess I'd either. go with with Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Yeah. All right. What do you mean? You, you yeah. verifying with us whether she likes what she said, Meryl uh, Streep? She gave you the answer. Oh, my God. I, all right. Would you like to speak to Donald Trump, Gilbert Gottfried, Mr. Lowe from WGBB Radio, or the pizza man from Farmingdale? Um, I would talk to Trump. I Tr feel like that would be a fun conversation. All right. Hold on a minute. Well, it's really nice to know, Nine Iron, that you like the 69 position. <laughs> I like the 69 position myself. I kind of, I think I created it. I did back in the day with my first wife, one of many. And we did the 69 position, and she liked it. And now that I find that it's spiritual and it brings me closer to God, I like it even more. I like it. I also like Dougie. Doggy. No, no, no. I don't want to know about your sexual position, Mr. Uh, Trump. I thought you were talking about me. Okay. No. All right, Mr. Trump, we have a, a nice comedian on the phone. We Nicole. got back nine, the back nine yeah, with the nine. Nicole nine. Domenico hyphen uh, Narayan back nine. Lamonico, Lamonico. 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 <laughs> Lots of times with Lamonico. <laughs> I want to go with Lamonico. All right. I like that slogan. Let's give it a go with LaMonica. You know, I need a running mate 2024. So Trump and LaMonica? LaMonica. Give a go to LaMonica. All right. Uh, like Nicole, Mr. Like Trump it. would like to join. Would like you to join his campaign. I'd like you on my ticket. I would, I would love to. There's a lot of things you would like. On I'd you. like you on my pillow. Yeah, I heard about your ticket. All right. <laughs> where, where, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself owning some property and having cash flow in my pockets and healing the world All right. through laughter and and my services of being a Reiki healer. Nice. All right. Last question, Nicole, and thank you very much for coming on. And before you get off, please promote yourself. Besides Limo Talk, which is this great show right here, what's your favorite podcast? Uh, Busted Open. Um, which is on Sirius XM, uh, X, yeah, Sirius XM, and um, it's busted open. It's a wrestling podcast, and uh, it's hosted by Bully Ray Dudley. I know who it. Also happens it's to be very, my cousin. It's very good. I who like it. Amazing. And shout out to him. All right. So where are you going to be? Tell me. Tell us where we can find you, and tell us where you're going to be. How do we make an appointment I'm for Reiki? So if you would like to make a Reiki appointment, you can message me or you could text me at 631-767-8216. Go or slow you can with message that. me on Facebook. That was too fast. <laughs> I was just trying to write. I wrote it. Oh, Six, I see him writing. Six, okay, three, okay. Well, wait, Nicole, I got you this. 631-76. Hold on, Nicole. I got this. 631-767-8216 if you'd like Reiki, correct? Yes. Well, if any like of her awesome services. Session, okay. Yoga, you like Reiki sixty nine or doggy style? Either way. <laughs> no, you know I'm not giving you those services. Nobody, uh, this is not a foot spa. Well, tell me a little bit about Reiki. I want a little Reiki. Uh, it's and all about the Reiki. energy, baby. Lucy it's all and about Reiki. The no, it's not Lucy. <laughs> it's not Lucy and Ricky, You're, uh, Mr. Trump. It's Lucy and Reiki. R A K I. It's oh, 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 I didn't. Baba <laughs> Lou. <laughs> Nicole, so give us a oh, see, I'm home. And I'll be at I'll be at uh, the Kaya Club um on Thursday the sixteenth. Um, Tom Salini is hosting that show. Kathy Arnold is going to be on it. She's um, terrible. I forget who else at the moment, but it's going to be a good show. That's at the Kayak Club. That's the next show I got coming up. All right. Well, you last week when we were going back and forth, you're like, ah, oh, your show's not that uh, not that risky. Wasn't that bad, right? It wasn't terrible. <laughs>
<laughs> Are you going to come on and do it again next week with us? No, she's. she's... If you change your question, yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. Again. I'm gonna. Hey, I gave you a that. preview of the questions. You know that, right? You knew what you were getting yourself into, ma'am. Ma I thought I didn't know you were gonna have the same exact. Questions. We don't so change things gonna, around. Yeah, we'll now be doing the same knows. thing for 12 Off years. No, no, no. We got to do them. new questions because now somebody who listened today, just like she they listened. They should be different every week. She she now knows she would have known the questions and she would have been prepared. Uh, I'll better to be unprepared. Hold on. I'll change it. When masturbating, do you use your right hand, oh, your left hand, both hands, or a toy? How's that? I'll change it. That's that, the same that, question. You just yeah, really. Your, your reverse side There's a Gilbert Godfrey <laughs> joke that reminds me of. Well, oh, go ahead, Gilbert. How are you? <laughs> Three like guys are walking through the woods, and they need a place to stay. Okay. They come upon a barn. The owner of the barn comes over, and he goes, can I help you guys? He goes, you know something? We just need a place to sleep. Our car broke down, and we're walking through the woods. Okay. So he goes, you're welcome to the bed up on the loft of my barn. You're going to have to all sleep together, though. Okay. So they get in the bed. The three salesmen get in the bed, and they're laying next to each other, and they fall asleep. In the morning, they wake up, and the guy on the right says, all night long, I had a dream some girl was jerking me off. <laughs> the guy on the, la the other side says, I had the same dream. Some girl all night long was jerking me off. The guy in the middle says, that's funny. I had a dream that all night long I was skiing. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Oh that is a legitimate. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got it now. I got it now. Oh, shit. That is a legitimate Gilbert Godfrey joke. Uh, well, Nicole, I hope, I hope you had fun. Listen, we're at Strong Island Studios in uh, Massapequa. You ever want to jump into the audience and hang out with us one night, you're more than welcome. Very cool. Thank you so much, you guys. And I hope your parents are not mad at me now for the bad questions. I hope so, too. <laughs> Thanks, Nic they, Nicole. They again, 631-767-8216 for meditation, healing, and Reiki. Yeah. Not Ricky, right? Correct. Let's Reiki! Correct. All right. <laughs> Reiki! Reiki, <laughs> I'm <laughs> home! Take care. Thanks, Good Nicole. Night. She wants to go. Night, She's like, I want to leave. Get me out of here. Get me out of here now. <laughs> so I, I don't want to change these questions every oh, week. Well, you need better freaking questions. I mean, I they gave me a chance to tell a cover joke. You want me to get rid of the masturbation yeah, I, one? Yes, nobody I, wants I, can I keep like the personal sexual questions position? like that. She's a nice person here. She's asking us the question. And she answered it. I couldn't believe. It. I thought she was gonna say next question. I, I thought day. last week was a better one when when uh, Althea said woof. What's your favorite sexual position? That's it. You got to know who you your target is. You got to know who your person you're talking to. Is. I let when her, you get somebody come on. Did you answer your own questions? I did let you her, answer? I, did you answer your own right, questions? Guys, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ask them. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I can't even read this shit. <laughs> but guys, when you jerk off, do you use do you use your right hand, your left hand, or both? I use toys. <laughs> what the fuck does a guy need to use toys for? Keep going. It's a blow up doll. Tell questions. me what the toys are. Little diddle ass ass uh, beads and stuff like that. I like to diddle beads myself. in yeah. your ass. Yeah, ass beads. You are fuck freaky. <laughs> yeah. And one thing. One and thing, Rotty's like uh, uh, the one thing a ow. guy doesn't need is any fucking toys. What the fuck? Are you, the last thing I heard from. I didn't even put that in the question. You threw it in. I okay. I'm I'm answering your question. I just need someone on the other end of the phone. Whatever. <laughs> 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 right, what okay. would you like to know? All Which right, also guys. answers the question: How many hands? <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, how would you like to be? <laughs> oh, Marana me! I was skiing. <laughs> wow, that was great. Would you like me to know my favorite sexual position? Now that yeah, we're everyone's on dying to know. Yeah, what's your favorite sexual? Sixty-nine. Position? Really? Yes. And then two fingers in the hiney makes it 71. <laughs> oh, God. I used to have a guy I used to work with. He used to go one, one in the pink, one in the stink. One in the pink, one in the stink. Oh, my God. All right. Um, <laughs> well, I'm glad you joined us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never thought I'd, I'd rather be it. here than watching the Oscars. <laughs> you know, when you, I like when you yell like that. You like you that? Like, yeah. They liked it last night, too. I, 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 I've done everything on my agenda tonight. So oh, really? let's wrap it up. You... I got I got something I could talk about. Go ahead. Um, am I allowed to mention uh, Murdered by the Mob? 
No, no, can... wait. But first, we got to talk about the bad boy. Are no, you we're play? not allowed to mention bad boy. I'm not mentioning. I bad was boy in the bad boy he with was... Rain Legrand because he gets upset. Hey, so I Teresa. thought I mentioned. Hi, Teresa. I mean, get murdered with the mob. Murdered by the mob. You should come see it. It's come really see it. Good. It's a good show. You'll be at the Argyle. At the Argyle. No, doing it. The Argyle Bowling Alley <laughs> at Bourbon Street on March thirtieth. Really? Yes. So you should come. It's a three course dinner, a show. It's like going to a wedding. Someone gets whacked, and you got to figure out who did it. Is this a Tony Walker thing? <laughs> no. No. Tony Walker does a show like no, that. No, no, no. This is legit. This and is, I did the show with Tony. This is the longest running show in Manhattan. 27 years the show's been running. Oh, in you Manhattan. want to shut it down and get me on it? No. <laughs> you should come. You should definitely come because. Do I have to bring a wedding gift? We're, we're always. No, you have to bring a wedding gift just yourself. But we're always looking for people to do the show. So I want to do the show. You should do the show. <laughs> Lucy, I want to be in the show. <laughs> Greg, Greg D. Filippo says maybe a new uh, maybe a new question should be spit or swallow. <laughs> oh yeah, ask somebody who's a godly person whether it's spit or swallow. And he also wanted to know how much a rub and tug was. <laughs> Another Gilbert Coffey joke. Oh shit! <laughs> Kick him home. <laughs> Kick him home. Oh, well, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Go ahead, Gilbert. Can we hear you in the voice, please, Gilbert. <laughs> He's cracking up before he even tells the joke. And he doesn't. Th and he doesn't He's do that that often. Of the that means it's funny. No, well, it was just like <laughs> he comes home, tells his father, "Dad, I just got my first blowjob," and he goes, "How was it?" He goes, "Tasted like shit." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Felix Tracicia says, I thought Gilbert was dead. He's not. <laughs> Nobody's not dead here. <laughs> wow. Shit. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I like yeah. these new things that you're coming up with. Well, they're just coming in with my head. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So She reminded me of the joke. When she's when you, when you brought up the stupid mystery, right hand, <laughs> left hand, and I'm thinking that's a Gilbert Coffey joke. Wait a minute, right hand, left. <laughs> Let me try. The guy to said that the guy in the middle was, was ski skiing. I think it was. Oh I was like, God. I think I can remember this joke. That's why I said like, I'm throwing it in. Well, she seems to throw like it. it. And Rati says very good joke. She likes it very much. Joan Krupiasha uh, is joining us tonight. Oh, she hello, says good job, ladies. How are you? We got a lot of nice people hanging out with us tonight. Who is? <laughs> I was like <laughs> the French toast joke. Oh, God. What do you got more? I just told it before. Mother's in the kitchen. The kids come down. The father's sitting at the table. And she goes, Johnny, what would you like for breakfast? And he goes, I want some fucking French toast. And she goes, how dare you talk? I just smack him. The father beats him, smacks the shit out of him, beats him up, sends him up to his room, goes back up there, whacks him with a baseball bat and says, don't ever talk like that at our table again. Fuck yeah. Whatever. She's talking like that. Comes downstairs and, and she goes, okay, Jimmy, what do you want for breakfast? Well, I sure as hell don't want the fucking French toast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> See, when Richie's not around, we just we go in different directions. <laughs> now, Richie would be like, what's wrong with French toast? <laughs> 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 Why don't you like French toast? I mean, uh, French toast is good. Oh. So what do you got on your agenda? I'll let you take over now. It's the three tea time My three agenda. Three. I have tea. I have, well, tea time tomorrow night at eight o'clock. I have a the beautiful uh, producer and actress, Maytal <laughs> Maytal <laughs> Angel. It's the fucking same shit all the time. No, it's not. It's something different. You keep every week. It's going to be a great show. Oh, I'm going to have actor, actor producer. She's great. We're going to be talking about her sitcom that she's doing uh, with my friend George. <laughs> okay. And. Uh, and she travels the world. She's originally from Israel, born in Israel. She served in the the Israeli army. This girl could kick your ass, okay? Get it down here. <laughs> Get Every her week, it's the same <laughs> shit. So okay. talented, beyond belief, an incredible, amazing person. <laughs> she She's is. so funny. It's the most incredible show. Going to be a great show. It is. <laughs> Tune it's in. it's show. like on the night show, the, the uh, Tonight Show with Johnny Cohen. We got a great show for we you got tonight. A great Every show. night, great show it's for a you really tonight. Good and show. we got a real treat for you tonight. We got a great show we for you tonight. We do. Every night's a great show. It's a great every every. I week. want to hear somebody say tonight's show is eh, and she does <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 yeah, she did that when I was on. This this dick's coming on this week. Put his feet up. There, yeah, look forward. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got a guest coming yeah. on soon. Eh, yeah, it's gonna be a. <laughs> what I do notice is you're always every every Friday night putting on your optimum. 
you if you'd like to join if you'd like to see me on optimum you can see me at 10 a.m i do that at on optimum seven, I, see me, fucked up. I do that every saturday morning i know at 7 i know i'm not, not right. nothing before. you and it's 11 a.m channel 20 for how, 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 all right here. listen yesterday i tuned in to channel 20 at 11 a.m and? and i saw a show from here yes. i also saw captain splash on there Oh, Captain Splash! Listen, uh, first of all, and I—I well, I was freaked out because I just woke up and I already, uh, you know, I, I was already like tired and shit like that. Oh, like, I was. The show's on in the afternoon. It was on at eleven o'clock. He's got a whole. Well, maybe it was a commercial. He's got a whole no, it was probably a commercial. Of shows on all week. All week. Yes. I woke up. I'm rubbing my eyes. I'm like, fucking Captain Splash. <laughs> the fuck? She's wearing the hat, the whole uniform. I'm, I'm in my living room. She's in my fucking living room. <laughs> we miss you, Captain Splash. We hope you're all right. She's all right. So oh, she. Yeah, yes. we hope she's all right. So again, March 30th. I'm inviting you both. You should definitely come. Seven to ten, Bourbon Street, Bayside. Come. Bourbon One Street. of my clients, her brother, owns that place. To talk to really? Him. Yeah. Oh, very highly about it. it's he's a very great talented. place. He's very talented. Back in the day, it used to be called Minstrel Boy. Minstrel Boy. Yeah, that's right. I used to go there all the time. They have well, everybody goes there and they meet for the Met games over there. Yeah, they all meet for the it's Met games place. and they take the buses back. It really is. Speaking of Met games, have you um, gotten any word of uh, your upcoming schedule? Do they, do no, I don't have my too schedule. Early. But what I do, I do, do have opening, to do. Do uh, we have opening day? Yeah, I probably do an opening day. Okay. But the um, the um. What do you call it? the uh, orientation shit is coming uh, up. Okay. All that stuff is coming up. Yeah. I got March 22nd. I got to be there. I got to do this class online. It is a refresher class every year. You Wait, gotta... What day? Oh, so you know what day opening day is for the Mets? I think it's I April. Think, I think 6th. I don't even know. It's no, March, April 6th it's is actually, on night. It's actually, yes. No, I'm only kidding. Remember we... <laughs> it's actually March 30th this it's, year. It's opening yeah, day. Yeah, but I don't know if they're home on that. Oh, Okay. Chris, Let me check. Yeah, check. check. Felix Rasuccia says hello. Joe, uh, Chris Smith. Hi, Chris. And Rodney always joining us. And you guys look great in the shirts, you and your daughter. Thank you for wearing them. And I nice. uh, hope the liquor store is doing really well. I hope you guys are listening over there. Just so you know, there's a sale on tequila uh, in aisle two. It's uh, really? Cuervo. Oh, Cuervo. Yeah. Cuervo. yeah. Uh, Liana's in the in, 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 in mm. Liana's in the liquor store right Let's now. Talk about my daughter's wedding. Do you know how many? Why do I want to talk in... about your daughter's wedding? You want to know wedding? why? Because she got a quote for flowers, just flowers. Okay, fifteen grand, dude. For flowers, everything is that over go... expensive. It's insane. How can I ask you how much the venue's costing you? How, uh, the... First of all, it's not costing me anything right. because my daughter said, "You know, my it's tradition that the bride's parents pay for the wedding." I go, "Really." Did you know it's tradition that the bride's a virgin? <laughs> uh, that's right. shut her right up. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was kidding. She thinks she's a Kardashian, my daughter. What, what happened? You, you, opening day is the is the, what day? Is the sixth. No. What time is the game? No. Uh, no. What time is the game? Are you kidding me? No, I, think I can't believe. Oh, he's so bailing. City on Field. You. Versus Miami. Jesus Christ. One ten. City Field. Yeah, you'll be there, but we're not starting till eight o'clock at night. <laughs> You're fine. I'll pick you up from the. From I'll the be floor. wearing my Mets uniform. There you go, Gilbert. That, you better be, make sure you better root for for the Mets, so you'll have a hard day that night. All right, you'll be a little. It's going to be tired. a long day. Bad. Yeah, it's well. I, I know a lot of people. My friend Tommy and his wife. Oh, everyone's all, coming to see you, Bobby. All, you uh, better be there. All the Farmingdale you better Green, be all there. the Farmingdale Green Dogs, the families want the pressure. Cannot, the wait, pressure cannot, wait, cannot wait to see you, Bobby. And a lot of them say that they'd like to heckle you a little bit because they know your feelings on the Farmingdale Green Dogs. What? First of all, I have no feelings on the Farmingdale Green Dogs. I have a feeling about the person who fucking brags about the Farmingdale Green Dogs every week. Oh, that our pal Richard? That was you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 42 championships a week. Oh, I'm getting a, a – actually, look at this. Ann Rothy's telling me that I am getting a Lucky 7 shirt from the from the liquor store. Nice. And I would love to wear the Lucky 7 shirt and to know that Leanne's working tonight and that Cuervo Tequila is on sale, two for one, in aisle two, just so you know. The lime comes for free. Get the free limes. You got limes there, Ann? I don't. Put I, the lime in the in, coconut in like the and mix it all. She's like, well, she's in the like the desert. It's she's in way, way out. Okay. Way way. So if somebody comes to her place, they give them a lime, they suck on it. <laughs> in the middle of the desert. 
<laughs> on that note, I'm going to leave the show. I have to go. I have to go to the bathroom for a second. Go All right, we got a toilet break. Yeah. Really? We're taking a toilet break. Wow! In the middle of Don't our you program. go before the show our starts. Program. Well, anyhow, the anyhow, thing is, anyhow. So yeah, I really was. Uh, I was bummed about missing out on the yeah, show. Yeah, unfortunately, on Bobby couldn't but make the show. Last what week. my absence? He had to work. My absence caused you to get all this extra time and just. And then what's his name? Uh, uh, James Which, Bond <laughs> didn't show up. No, what happened was you said to me, I have to work. And I said, and I understand that. So Kathy's like, what are we going to do? I said, we'll give the comics a couple of more minutes each. And then Richie canceled. He was the headliner. And Kathy goes, what are we going to do? Are we going to get somebody else? I go, no. I said, but you didn't, and I. But uh, didn't Steve uh, Perillo come? He did, but yeah, but we everyone did like I don't know 10, 12 minutes, but Kathy did 25, I did 25. I said, No, I said, We'll split, we'll split the time and we'll do it. And you know what? It worked out. Yeah, what happened? To, you already mentioned it. What Great. happened to Minerva? Richie Minerva. Was he supposed to do that night? He you had a breath to, of taking a piss. He was supposed to have mine. And I didn't know. Yeah, I'm out of breath. Was that a I'm false alarm? No, I'm all right. Yeah, bathroom break. I, I didn't, didn't say, know there was a bathroom break. Where did it go? Outside? Right. I don't know. I needed the air. The Bacals is to the I need, left. I needed air. The Bacals. The Bacals. Anyway, um, I, listen, I don't want to get into it. It's personal. But let's just say that the show ended up being great. You were missed, but the show was great. And it worked out. That's the bottom line. It worked out. It it, we worked had a sold-out show. They laughed their asses off. That's all that mattered. Somebody's got my name on Facebook tonight, and they say Graz is the br biggest bragger about Green Dog Championships. He had nothing to do with. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> whoever that is, whoever, yes. wh whoever's got my thing is really, is, yeah. Somebody's under my name tonight. Wow. On, uh, yeah, I don't know who it is. Interesting. I would like. I'd be like, uh, yeah, the Hawks. We're in a uh, we're in a triple crown tournament. You know. Oh, we just won three of those last weekend. Three. <laughs> Three tournaments. All, all of our teams won a Cripple Crown tournament. And the week before, we won four tournaments. And the week before that, we won seven. I'm like, what the fuck? 32 tournaments this year we've won. Wow. Okay. Okay, really. We didn't win 32 tournaments. But one team won like seven. Oh, I didn't know we were using exponents when we did our numbers. Seven now multiplied by seven was the 49, I think, that you came out with. Because you were telling me about championships every five seconds. I was like getting a championship. That's my thing about the Green Dogs. It wasn't nothing to do with the people in the Green Dogs or the kids in the Green Dogs. It had to do with on my right, on my left, I'm skiing. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, I'm the one getting jerked. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> No, you would not. Oh, come come on. I'm like, oh my god! No matter what I said, that's why I got like that about it. It was like, no matter what I said about anything the Hawks teams done, and we only have three or four teams. Go, I, I had I had to hear that. Really, you, you want want you want a championship? Oh <laughs> well, what <laughs> well, hell? You? I'm like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up with it. That's why I got like that. <laughs> I don't like bragger people. I'm I'm like thanking my kids. You know, thanking. I got to hear. <laughs> You won a champion. <laughs> one. We've won seventy-five championships since last week. You're like, what the fuck? In one week. Yeah. Every every out That's is a, a championship. Lot of games. You know, they got a trophy for every out. Popped up the short. Get a trophy. No, that's come on. <laughs> championship. He's the champion of getting outs at second base. He made three. Get the fuck out of here. You really dressed up really nice tonight, Teresa. You got nice makeup on and everything else. Gee, you, thank you, Grass. You really considering, did. you know, my nose looks a lot smaller now. Oh yeah. <laughs> when did I say that? Oh. <laughs> you know, most people who lose weight and got big noses, the nose looks like a gigantic schnoz. Yours didn't get that big. Well, I have you to said that. I, well, I, I have said to tell you, Teresa. Your nose looked a lot bigger when I didn't you were say heavy. that. Your My first person I've ever so seen a lost weight in their that. nose. Like, you were here last. Were you here last week, Teresa? No. W when did I say that to you? When did I when say? When I walked in with Kathy. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Enough for her to do a oh, Netflix yeah. special. <laughs> She's gonna do a Netflix special. <laughs> On Grass's ass. I said to you, Teresa, you look fantastic. Grass, you lost the bulge a lot of in weight. your pants looks a lot smaller this week. Oh. Yeah, he hasn't lost lost an ounce either. <laughs> Oh, you two just want to go? <laughs> 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 Fucking idiots. Listen to me. 
I know my nose. I have an Italian nose. Yeah, but it's gotten a lot smaller since you <laughs> lost. <laughs> you can't keep, keep digging, Charlie. Keep, keep digging. Oh my God, that's I, great. I, you have a different look now. Like it's not accentuated anymore. Now it's just you look pretty. Now it's not an accentuated pretty. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep digging. He, he is a, keep digging he, deep. He's his, own, he's his own fucking train wreck. He, he is, really is. He really is. Well, that being said, I think you look fantastic. And Thank you. Thank she you can't. Much. She can't handle your compliments. And whatever, <laughs> you, and whatever you did with your nose, keep on doing yeah. it. I don't I know do if you got like a different nose, makeup or anything. No. Else. That's a really nice diet job you did on your hair there, too. That's really nice. But I didn't say nothing. I like, like, I like oh this dyed God. imitation shirt you got on oh over here with God. the fake crustaceans uh, all over. Listen to me. I, I, I have to say, and I'm going to say I'm going to say it publicly, uh -oh. that I, I love limo talk. I love Rich and Bobby yeah. and, <laughs> and, and, and Graz. I yeah. do. I've been with them a very, very, very long time. Six years. And uh, I appreciate being the original vagina on the show, yep. and your Robin, so to speak. Yep. I, 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 I you're, know you you're welcomed the me, and I, and yeah, I'm, the only problem and is I'm glad to be here when I am here, when I'm allowed here. So I'm just letting you know. I allow you here all the time. <laughs> no, you're on the I'm show. Just telling you. I can't even fucking walk in here on a Monday night because you have. Robin Leach or Jerry Jerry <laughs> Robin yeah. Leach lifestyles of, of the, the rich, rich and famous. famous. You know, you have somebody We're at limo talk with Garazade. <laughs> <laughs> you have like this, you gotta have like this famous actor on and oh you can't walk in. I have set questions and everything else. Fuck that. I'm walking in one day. I'm gonna plop my I wanted I'm gonna pop my <laughs> like ass right on you. Like right, a sit in. Where, wherever you are, I'm, I'm telling you. It's so funny. And you wanna know why? Because you've come in here and, and entertained people for six years and done a really good job with us. But I would like to do, do you need to do something a little spontaneous every once in a while when you have an interview. So, so uh, Robin, when you were making your last movie, did you find that the pictures or the, or the, or the, or the colors of uh, the background were proper with your mustache? Or something? You ask questions like that. Well, where'd you go to? That? Where'd you go to school? No or, idea. You went to all school. Right, this is why he, you, you, he does right, what Robin. he does, and I do what I do. Well, no, you sit. Well, you know, you went to school at Cardoza High School, and you got yourself a bachelor's degree, and you knew all that stuff because you did it with him, and he did it with me. But you can have a little spontaneity every once in a while. Somebody walking yeah, I can. in. I can. I can. Grass. How many times do you masturbate a week? Oh, at least four. <laughs> with beads. <laughs> Ass beads. With butt beads. Butt beads. Does your wife know you do that? You kinky bastard. No, but yeah. now she does. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, I don't know, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know, Teresa's giving me dirty looks all night. She's done with me. Oh my god! She's like, I'm done with you, Graz. No. I hate this microphone. You know what I'm saying? It's just like it. I got to tilt it forward over here to use it. So here, and, one, 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 too late. But Howard, Howard, <laughs> Howard. Howard. T, so what's on your agenda you'd like to talk about? I'm giving you the show. She already us. did. She no, talked no. about her bat. I did. I talked about, about no bat boy. No, the murder she wrote. Boy. Murder she wrote. No, murdered by the mom. I heard you're on HBO now too, or doing a show, uh, doing a pilot or something. Like I that. am filming. I'm going to be filming in Philly, season two of a sitcom called Recipes for Love, with Daniel Baldwin and Nick Totoro. And, oh, the good Baldwin. Uh, <laughs> he is the good Baldwin. <laughs> He's a great Baldwin. And um, just waiting to see when I'm gotta when I gotta go to Philly. But I, I have to say I'm very blessed in the sense that people are now. I don't want to. I don't want this to come out wrong. Oh please! People, I want it to come out. <laughs> but people, come people are. Um, come on, say it. They're sending me scripts. No. Yes. Oh my God. There's, I have four scripts on my dining room table, and people want to work with me, and it feels so friggin' good and validation oh oh, that people are. Wanting to work with oh, me, God, you know, you... but I don't want to sound like, yeah, you know, no, I no, want to no. sound humble about it. I don't want it to yeah, sound. Yeah, you, you, you sound. Know. You came off real humble though. I... <laughs> People like me. They want me no, on their show. It's just it makes me feel good. <laughs> on an Oscar night, it's very good that you're doing a little paraphrase of what Sally Field going. You? you like me. You like they me. really let people really yeah, but, but you, I heard you, I, but I heard through the grapevine I got a lot of haters too now, and I don't like when people hate on me because I love everybody you know, except. Like... T.W. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh no, no. <laughs> and I'm not saying this. You know what? You know what I really saying, can't stand I right love now. everybody, okay? Yeah. You got to really, really do something bad to me in order for me to hate you. 
Okay. You know what so saying? my conversation and critiquing your comedy show is not bad. No, Graz, I know it's coming from you. It comes from a place of love. No, he's, she's sitting there going, it's coming from you. I don't take it seriously. <laughs> it's like, what do, so what, what no. do you know about it? Listen, I'm a comic, all right? So I don't take anything personally. You know that. You We break each other's Most comics shoes. do. A lot of these comics have very... Well, these th comics need to, like, chill out. Thin skin. Seriously. Very thin skin. No, I don't know. And they don't want anybody skin. else to succeed. You know, my opinion is if you have I want everyone off, to succeed. I want talking. to see everybody succeed. I'm not... I'm not. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> you know my. You know what I think. I think a lot. If you haven't pissed off people and made people fucking dislike you in some way, you're just not taking a stance, and you're just too wishy washy. You got to say what you think. Think what you Correct. say. Do what you Correct. feel is right. Correct. And if somebody fucking hates you for it, fuck you. You weren't on my you know, side as you anyway. Get older. You're not going to turn. It's like a That's politician. How you feel. As a politician, like a, a politician who panders to the people who hate him, you know, you're never getting their vote. You never they're You're never right. gonna like you. You're right. They are just never gonna fucking Correct. like you. So you might as well pander to the people who do like you yes. and give them what yes. they want to hear yeah. rather than give the people you don't like or don't like you things that they want to hear so they continue not liking you and you turn off the people who do. Fuck that. Well, I tell you the truth. Fuck after, that. After I had my brain surgery eight years ago, I got rid of all the toxic people got a little in brain my life. Salad got surgery. rid of all the toxic people in my life. Seriously, because they cause stress and stress shortens your life. And I said, your history. That's what the first thing I did. But you seem to be changing your show into more of having actor and actors and I'm having on. I'm. 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 I'm well, noticing you've talked slower since you went outside before. No, no, <laughs> I didn't do anything. I'm going to be having on. I'm not going to say who it is. I'm going to be having on a, a big, a big football player on coming oh, on my show. Oh, so, giant or jet? I'm. I. I'm. Do you know if what, te what team he's on? Yeah, I do. I'm not want to say anything. Is he oh my playing? god! I don't want to say is anything. It, is, yet. is he currently playing? Is he no, currently playing? No. Joe Klecko? No, but he's won. Um, Joe Klecko. No, it's Joe Klecko. No. Joe Klecko. But he's won Super Bowls, so I'm. Um, you'll be oh, happy. Bowls, Super so Bowls. Double. You'll be happy when he comes on. I'm not saying who it so is. So it's a giant because he won. I'm Michael not, Strahan. I'm not confirming anything. Yet. Michael Strahan. No, is it Michael Strahan? On. No. Is is it? Uh, Listen to me. Is it Eli Manning? Is it Eli Manning? He's supposed to be coming on a week from tomorrow. I am not announcing anything yet. Is Eli Manning? No. Is he Lawrence coming? Taylor, is he bringing coke? <laughs> great. I know. No. Ill Ill Alleg great. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. So, oh, yeah, hey, so fuck it. Who cares? I White good? I don't give you shit. I, I did coke too. Sports. <laughs> Me too. So I mean, I want to have more sports people on in the entertainment industry. They, you know, in studio, in studio. He will I only be did in it studio. once, by the way. He will be. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that might be the night that I might crash. I might want to get an autograph for my son. You can do that as long as you know you behave yourself because. You know. what, 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 what would I do? Hey, Mr. Taylor. No cursing because then I can't put it on where I want to put it on. It's not, it's not Bobby, Lawrence. Bobby, editing, it's not Lawrence editing. Taylor, is it? No, no, it's not LT. All right, good. It's uh, no. Wait, it's multiple Super Bowls. Yes. So that means it's not a jet. So it's definitely a giant. <laughs> I, love Even if, I love how they're trying to figure this out. Well, it's somebody from the Giants, so, and, right? And somebody <laughs> is intertwined with, 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 like, one of the actors or Ray Negron or and no, I, think, yeah. I think it's like Michael Strahan. No. You know what? I think you might be right. I think it might be Michael Strahan. Oh, you're going to have to tune in. A week how about Tiki Barber? Maybe Tiki Barber. Ooh. But he didn't win multiple Super Bowls with the Giants. Mm -hmm. But Michael Strahan did. So, oh. you know, you want me to change it up. I'm All right, cool. Wait, wait. Up. Can you at least... Oh, and I wait, wait, and I. Will She's having you, on Tom Brady. Wait, wait, and I will, <laughs> I, I will tell you this you that um, the thirty first, and I got to mention this real quick because uh, the thirty. You got other things to the, mention. No, you the don't 30, have time. The thirty first, I am doing Bat Boy on Long Island. Oh, and, oh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your yeah. bad boy. Yeah. I'm going to be on bad boy yeah. with Rain the Grind. The why I'm saying it is because Doc will be there doing All right, Q and A. All right, we want to talk. So, Doc, Doc will be well, selling. Doc, be, will Doc be. will be at the front window selling programs. Oh. <laughs> He'll be there doing Q and A. <laughs> she's like, she's, she's sweating. She's sweating because she wasn't. A, he wasn't a Yankee yet, so he can't be included in the program. He's a Yankee and a man. He wasn't a Yankee then. Somebody no. said it's Gronk. Is it Gronk? Gronkowski? I can't. Oh my God. Look him. at them. Look at I'm not it, is him. Him. it is. Well, well here's no. the problem. It's whoever's Anthony Grazzi Day on Facebook, which is not me. Who's, is, who is impersonating? It's probably fucking uh, Lucera in the back. 
He's saying no, it's seriously, did you get hacked? It's Gronk. I don't know if I got hacked. Why, why, if they hacked me, why would they be listening to my show? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to saying, people have been getting hacked lately. Well, they have. You know, you no, know, I'm you know getting, who gets I'm hacked? I hate to I'm tell like, you. Is this you? And he's like, don't open it. It's not me. All these people who send you this shit. Like, you ever notice, like, some all of a sudden you get a, uh, like an email? From somebody and says, "Check this out," and it's somebody you know, don't. and you don't open don't it up. Open don't open but it. the bottom line is, Especially those, if you're ready, that's with how them. you find out which of your friends is watching the most porno. Really? Because that's why those emails happen because they're watching all this porno shit and going on some fucking nasty sites. Really? And and all of a sudden they get their ID and they fucking put send an email out, and then they start sending you a thousand messages. If you get anything from me, don't open it. Don't open it. You know. You know what I'm saying? You want to you want to know who wanna... it is? I can't say. I can't say it out loud. You can all say right, because you at least all right. Can, can we have? Five... I'll show you his name. Oh boy! What there goes the, there goes, there goes the table. Wait, you show I'll show us? you. No, you cannot say this out loud oh, because if it doesn't right. happen, I look like a schmuck. Oh, let me see. What's his name? Who? Oh, Don't say he, it. oh God! He Don't played. Say it. He Don't played... say it. <laughs> Yeah, don't say it. I, I liked him. He was. A good I guy. like him. Yeah, he's he's cool. You don't know. You have you have no idea who he is. I know who he is. I know who he is. Wasn't he in Lords of Flatbush? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Somebody is fucking. I've never gone uh, from somebody, so high to so low. Somebody, so Anthony Graza is <laughs> writing. It's no, my favorite. I, I love limo talk. It's my favorite podcast. I don't know. I love mean. limo talk. I, I love limo is. talk. I don't know who this is, but I'm fucking. They're killing me right now. They are using my name. Really? And go, yeah, look. Look. Did I write it's Gronk? Did I write did I write anything? I know who I know who's who's coming on the show too, just so you know. It, you know what? I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I think it's him inside. I'm gonna find out right now. Oh god. All right. Well, can we wait till after the show? No, I wanna know. All right. I wanna know now. Anyway. He had to get up. He had to get up. So the bottom line <laughs> is it's not him. It is you. This reminds me of that episode of um, King of Queens when uh, he thinks he's getting hit on by some girl and yes, he's doing karaoke. Yes, yes. And and it's it turns out it's Spence. Right. And he's sending right. him all these emails it's and shit. Funny. This is going on right now. Oh my god. What is it with these two fucking pillows that are bright as the sun? This is this is you need. Listen to me. TV no, I don't like it. TV land. It's all about the lighting. No, I don't like it. I'm sorry. It's all about the lighting. People have to see you. They can see otherwise. They you don't need these fucking you. giant pillows that are lit up like fucking. So listen. So Remember, you know, in the morning when you wake up like on Saturday and you're like, you know, you don't have anywhere to go, and all of a sudden the sun's coming through yes, the blinds. You yes. try to stick the pillows over your head. Yes. Well, the pillows are the light here. These giant pillows are all lit up, and they're fucking blinding. I love lighting. lighting I feel like I'm driving friend. on the parkway with people with those fucking high beams. Those, oh, those, I don't like that. You, that you're blind. Like. You, you're Little driving. Courtesy on you're the road. driving into the bushes. What's your because biggest you pet peeve? Tell that, me what you one of the, that's one of them. Is it the lights? Mine's the when cars. people don't use their directional. I don't I'm give a shit about that. Supposed to be a mind reader. I don't because I, I don't use mine. Well, you should. Sometimes I do. <laughs> but <laughs> when I'm in the mood. my biggest pe pet peeve now is people doing U turns out of nowhere. Oh, people okay. double parking because they have somewhere to go, so they're yes. gonna block an entire yeah. lot row of traffic because me, they have to run in quickly to the store. Me, it's always the directional thing. I don't. It's, run not, the it's not Bobby. It's not, it's not Bobby. Really? I, oh, I, the mystery continues. I think I know who it is. I think it's fucking Zarelli in, in Cortland. You think? I think so. It's possible. I, I, that, that's because his son already pitched his two innings and he's got nothing else to do. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you know, my son just went Push to... Push this uh, towards you. I can't you... stand this. Oh, there my you son go. just did... Um, now it's steady. He just went to South Carolina with Nassau Community College. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I, I, love the microphone. I heard you, you went, Hello, am issue. I on? Yeah, you're on. You're on. You're on. Don't, All right. don't uh, diddle with it. He, don't uh, diddle I'm with diddling. it. I'm don't diddle. Don't diddle. Hey, diddle, I want you. So um, he's he pitched... Oh, my God. He pitched. He goes to South Carolina Friday, Saturday. They left Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Coming back at five o'clock in the morning tonight, right? And I think he pitched three innings. What? He pitched three innings. That's like driving three hours to do five minutes of comedy and then drive three hours back. That's like taking off from work on a Saturday night to do seven minutes <laughs> of the show and get four dollars <laughs> and, and and telling people you can't work. You you got to be at the show. No, but that's what it was. It you was get like, more than four dollars. I'm only kidding. <laughs> I know. I'm just I remember saying. Bobby John's just one time. Saying. He was making fun of me with the bar when he came in because I used to work for Bobby John's. He used to own uh, Nook and Cranny in yes. Franklin Square. Yeah. And then, uh, which is now Bruce Brothers. And um, and then I bought my bar down the road. So Bob would come in and he'd see me with the kitchen open. Bob didn't have a kitchen at the time. Mm. And he'd come in, he'd go, 
he's drunk. He's like, oh, fuck, you got a kitchen here? He goes, the guy, the guy comes out and he goes, what, you, you selling what, burgers? You got what, burgers, fries and shit like that? He goes, you open up the kitchen for what, eight hours a day? You What do you make, $2? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck you, $2? Fuck you. Now, you know if, you, if you had... I'm actually losing money on the fucking <laughs> yeah. you, should see the wings on, you should see the wings I give out on Monday night. If $2. You, if you had an opportunity to open another bar... We I know. would do it. What? Not your old name of the bar. What would the new name be? Inns 42. No, no, I'm saying no. It would actually be, uh, I have a name. I do have a name. You're going to share? Something. As soon as you tell us which player is coming on your show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. It starts with a. Do you know? No, seriously. Well, do, you, do you have like a name, another name you would call? Do you want your name incorporated in this no, somehow? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, because I like the, I liked, if I opened up a bar, I wanted to call it Night Moves. See, that's the whole thing. She asked me this so she could tell me what she's got in mind. See, that, like Night a, Moves. There's don't a lot like of people it? like but this. But don't you like There's it? a lot of people who tell you that they, they ask you a question. But don't you like it? Walk last night to the sound of some night moves. How far off? Where are you going tonight? Moves? I'm going to night. Moves. Night moves. I was gonna call mine taps and apps. Taps and apps. I like that. That's pretty cool. Well, I, or I was gonna call. Well, we wanted in 41 part two. If he was gonna get part two. Part two. Really. Part two. Part two. No, I was actually I actually wanted to call it ins and outs. That's, ins and outs. Yeah. I like that. I like that too. I like that too. That was almost the name of my. Oh place. my god, I love it. Uh, ins and outs. Hey, everybody on Facebook, if you ins could share outs. the show, please, and please give us a like and tell us that you like us. And tune in besides, tomorrow night. Besides Anthony Grazia Day, who is all <laughs> over the site right now, Graz's Pickle Bucket. This is great. I love Limo. Oh, wow. Bucket. Ins and outs, Pickle Bucket night. <laughs> ins and outs. I love, I love that. I have a couple. See, of- I would have to be partners with somebody like him so I could be ins, he could be outs. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, have a definitely. couple of people that, are, that have suggestions of who's coming on your show. My show? Yeah. Oh, it's it's question time. Who do you want to see who? on Tea Time? There no, no, go. no. A couple of people said uh, they want to know if it was Eli Manning. No, it's not Eli. They want to know if it's Michael Strahan. Not yet. It's actually Rain Grand from Bad Boy. <laughs> <laughs> he was there when the Giants won all their Super Bowls. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> so how you, is he coming into studio? I guess you said this already. He's coming into studio? Yeah, he's guy? supposed to be coming into I'm studio. I'm coming in. I'm yeah. gonna get. I'm gonna get. And myself, he's a really, really nice. Guy. I'm gonna get myself an one. one yeah, of these cards. get yourself an autograph. All right. Definitely. That would be. That would be great, right? Yeah. <laughs> a guy walks into his bedroom. <laughs> his wife is in bed. He's got a sheep under his arm, and he says, "This is the pig I've been fucking for the last thirty years." <laughs> and his wife goes, "You're not holding a sheep. You're holding a pig." He goes, "I was talking to the sheep." <laughs> I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> oh out of nowhere, I like oh Kilman coming God. out of nowhere. Oh, this is good That's stuff. How, all that shit. All I that think stuff I just is... piddled myself. All I, that, all that I think shit. I need depends tonight. All that shit. Wow. Is, the stuff this has got me started in like. You know, me. it's it, you're having flashbacks. It was yes. coming back to your to your head as far as jokes go. <laughs> <laughs> and what were you gonna do on stage? Oh, I was I was going You're off gonna on a whole it. bunch of You're shit. Gonna yeah, I it. was going to wing it, but I also had a See, lot of I had a, I had a lot it. of thoughts in my head about things I wanted to talk about. Really? Yeah. Well, I can't wait to hear them all on. Have the, you finished a book yet, Merv? You haven't finished a book. Oh, yet? let's read a passage. All right, go ahead. Have you finished the other book yet? Candace I'm Sacklin's, almost done. Bruce Blakeman's. Uh, it's what? a really good Bruce book. Blakeman. Uh, not Bruce Blakeman. I keep saying that. It's a really good book because I told you my aunt's father was a victim to the. No, I know. The death What's the name? Of, it's called the Angel of Death. What's the name of the book? <clears throat> yeah, no, no. the The guy who killed my aunt's uh, father was called the Angel. What's of the name of the book that you're reading from Candace Sackman's father? Do you remember you the remember. name? You remember. You remember. I don't remember the name at all. <laughs> Nobody remembers. I don't remember. I have brain. Surgery. She's reading it. I have brain remember. surgery, so I have a really good excuse uh, not to remember shit. Let me tell you comes in handy. Oh, so why don't you give us an excerpt from, from Ralph Morales's? No, uh, it doing. mentions Queen. Mentions Queens. Rockaway Beach, Rockaway Beach, Queens. Go ahead. Let's read Ralph Morales's. No, I, I I like going off about this. No, whole, read it as Saints, Gilbert. Go ahead. A, a Saints letter. A read Saints it, letter from the depths of hell. It, read it as Gilbert. That's how you read. Uh, I like reading and telling people how I can't pay attention to what I'm reading. That's Go ahead. What, I'm, what, I got that my, Italian disease. A reading. A reading from Bob and Zarello. No, here's here's this way I I can't read a book. This is why I can't read a book. 
<laughs> I can't read a book. I swear to God, I can't. Yes, I can't read can. a newspaper because, and this, I go through this. I've done this a few times on here, where my mind drifts off. I'll and read I, it as no, 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 no. Bunker, and you. Read That's it what you sound as, like when you scream. And you read it as. Oh, no, anyway, <laughs> no, it's like right here. There's a quote here. When me and Saint realized that we were practically were neighbors, my neighbor, that guy next door to me. He never brings out his garbage. <laughs> his garbage always blows into the side of my fucking house. And I got shit all over the side of my house. And I go out and I pick it up. And I got to put it back in his pails or my pails. What do I do? Do I put it in his pails or do I put it in my pails? Whose pails do I put them in? I pick up all the garbage on my lawn. It's his garbage. Do I put it back in my fucking pails or do I put it in his pails? I go to his pails. He thinks I'm throwing my garbage out in his pails. And then he starts looking at me. Go, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, it's your fucking... Wait a minute. Let's go back to the book. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. This is what I do when I read. I go... My neighbors, we became pals. And I go, wait a minute. Me and Saint realized we were practically were neighbors. Okay. We are pals and best friends out here. We promised each other that we get together after we get back home to visit our favorite beaches. Oh, I fucking hate the beach. Do you know the beach? Is like in the middle of the summer, you're walking on a beach, you're fucking hot sand and it's your feet are burning and yes. shit like that. And do you realize all day long all that happens on the beach? Is birds shit all over the sand? Yes, they do. That's all they do, and that, this is why I can't read a book because yes. now I read the word beaches and I go beaches. on a twenty-minute tangent about you beaches. You have flashbacks, and I start thinking about people with blankets. Then I start thinking about the flip-flops I wear when I went to the <laughs> beach, and, <laughs> and the flip-flops going back and forth in the sand. And you open up the picnic basket, and I don't know why they call it they a picnic. Went to Rockaway Beach. I don't know why they call it a picnic basket when you brought it to the beach. I don't know. But you open up the sandwiches, and in the middle of the sandwich that's wrapped in. <laughs> In plastic, a Ziploc so bag, a and and tin foil. Yes. there's still sand on the sandwich. How the yeah, fuck is there sand on the sandwich? Anyway, back to the beach. I don't know how it gets in. Vinny was gonna come to Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. I hate See that now fucking you think show. of Vinny Kumbat. I gotta think of Jersey Shore. That fucking show. And I promised to go to Rockaway Beach in Queens. Rockaway Beach. There you go. I think of the Ramones now. Rock, mm. Rockaway Beach, yeah, Ramones. I, my mind drifts off, so I'm I'm spending 20 minutes on one fucking paragraph, <laughs> right? And then. Oh. Vinny kept telling me that the Rockaways were the best beaches on the East Coast. And mm. then I start thinking, what's the fucking East Coast? The whole East Coast, all the way down from what, Maine down to Florida? That's a lot of So coverage. you really can't even get through yeah. a paragraph. And I smacked him over the head. And then I think about the last time I smacked someone I over the head. I gave him a wood shampoo. A wood shampoo. And the Jersey Shore. And, and Wild would blow everything away. And then I start thinking about blow. Oh, well, that and then could be blow is like 42 be, different meanings. That could be very erotic. Yeah. And then I say to myself, I can't read a book. <laughs> I can't read a book because that's what happens to my mind every time I read a fucking book. I have book. that side. I don't want her touching it. She doesn't read the other ones. So I'm not, I'm I, don't not want, touching I, I don't want her to take this one. Wow, we're getting a little childish here. Yeah, yeah. Well, a little bit. What are we in third? So I went to Dunkin' Donuts on my way here and got a black coffee because the one over here is the only one in all of Long Island that closes on a Sunday night at six o'clock. Early. I know we know that. (laughs) And the pizza place closed nine o'clock. What the fuck is that? Too early. Who the hell? What Dunkin' Donuts closes? Don't they want to stay open for business? No, because they probably don't have any business after a certain hour. You know why they don't? Because people know not to come here because it's fucking closed. (laughs) There's a train station over here. I know. I don't get it. I've never seen a Dunkin' Donuts close that early. I don't drink coffee. I drink coffee all night, all day, whatever. I don't like it. I'm a tea girl. Tea or hot Are you on YouTube? Is tea time on YouTube? Yes. You are? Your, yes. own, your own separate one, or it's a, is it through here? It's through here. Oh, yeah. We have our own separate one, Limo you Talk. Do? Yes. Really? So if anybody would like to subscribe, please go to YouTube, Limo really? Talk, uh-huh. the original Limo Talk. The, not original. the one, the original. Not the one that was on there today, you right? You had a fake one? We had a fake. No, we had somebody else on Limo Talk. Side. Really? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're, they're a ripoff of uh, our program. Really? And wow. uh, I find it very insulting. And I think, we've got, I think we're going to start a uh, class action. A cease and desist must be I think issued. You need one. That they can't use the name anymore. I agree. So I think we yeah. were first. I think you and, were. Uh, did we? Did we uh, I have never. Oh, LLC. We that. have nothing to stand on. <laughs> we, I, haven't, I haven't LLC that at all. Uh, that's it. Done. Enjoy your show, guys. Little talk. <laughs> so. so. We gotta get going soon. We gotta yeah, Bobby's sleeping already. Bobby, Bobby rolled out the cot. <laughs> so April sixth again is uh, our night at Murs. Twenty dollars per person. Everybody gets a free drink. It's for the Farmingdale Avenue Green Dogs. 
It's a fundraiser. Performing or hanging out with us that night. They want us to not say performing. Why? Because uh, they want to keep it as a fundraiser. Because they got in trouble last time. Somebody yelled. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So Billy Geyer. What's I'm, wrong I'm look, with people, I'm looking man. forward to seeing Billy Geyer. Billy's great. I'm looking forward to seeing Matt. Billy was there last time I'm, with us. I'm looking forward to seeing Matt Arovalo. Matt was there last time. Uh, Kathy Arnold's joining Kathy's us. Kathy's new. She took uh, the Lambo. I mean, Kathy's new. Kathy's new. She wasn't there last time, I'm saying. Yeah. We only have a couple of. We had some. We have some. Teresa, Teresa Fowl is going to be there. Teresa, we're looking come on to you. down. Kind of stressy. Yeah, Teresa, kind of stressy. <laughs> Fowl. Kristen Tinsley is going with us. Kristen's she was not, there last time. She's not going to do any reading. She's going to try to do a couple of uh, minutes of comedy for us. That okay. Night. Uh, um, she's not going to tell me that I'm that I have relationship problems with a ghost. <laughs> with a ghost, yeah. Uh, I got there's a ghost over my left shoulder. Oh, there's a ghost over my right shoulder. They're all doing bad shit to me. A skiing, a skiing. I wish they'd fucking ski tonight. Bonnie Scalisi's joining us. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want to go down a few slopes tonight. <laughs> Have you done it? Oh <laughs> <laughs> Have, you t- <laughs> Have you done any shows with Bonnie lately, Teresa? Um, Have you seen no, Bonnie? Have you no. seen Bonnie? Yes, Bonnie, Kathy, and I went to go see our friend Irene Bremis at the cutting room. Rachel Dratch from Saturday Night Live was producing the show, and she opened the show for Irene, uh, and it was great. Nice. Was I great. miss Don Pardo from Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Yeah. Live from New York, it's Saturday yeah. night. I used to love that voice. He was a fixture. Just, he was great. Justin McDonald's going to join us that night. You know, okay, you cool. Know, I Justin. haven't seen him in a while. And uh, our friend Michael Zimmelman's going to join yes. us that night. So <laughs> he's going to be like, uh, so I was, I was speak outside, up, Michael, I was, speak I was up. Talking to him the street, and the guy goes, "Oh my god!" And people are like. <laughs> In the front row. They're like, we can't in hear you. In the front you. row. Everyone's like, what is he <laughs> in saying? In the back row. What do you say? Is he on yet? Did he start yet? Is the microphone working? What's going on here? Uh, speak up. <laughs> and we're performing, not in the side no room. No performing. We're performing we in are front talking, of the ball. Out. Uh, in front of Correct? the ball, yes. In yeah. the front, yeah, where everyone in the front. can see us and yeah, shut the frig up and listen. Yeah, I mean, I think we're getting a nice, nice... Uh, so far, it's been pretty good. We're getting a little rumblings. We should be. We right. should got rumbling. And you're doing um. Are you you doing raffles? We're gonna do a fifty fifty. Yes. And we're are you doing do any last, baskets? Last box. Are you doing any kind of I don't basket? think we're doing any baskets. Okay. I think we should do a ninety ten. What? What's a ninety ten? <laughs> we take ninety percent, give them ten dollars. <laughs> well, sometimes if, depending on the person, they'll donate it back to the organization. Oh, I crack up. I do this all the time with the Republic Republican Club meetings. Now there they didn't go. do that right. last night, but. We have Some a fifty-fifty every meeting, right? Yep. Every meeting, and I tell people all the time, "I'm get, I'll get in the fifty-fifty, but don't expect me to give it back." Okay, because you don't want to. It's your, it's your, your yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not some superstar that's gonna. What the hell did I get the fifty-fifty for? If I just wanted to donate five ten dollars to the fucking club, I'd just donate five ten dollars to the club. Stand at the door and tell people it's not a fifty-fifty; it's a donation tonight, twenty dollars. Right, right. Fuck you. All right, do that. Okay. But everybody feels this pressure. So I'm at this this thing the other one night. I'm sitting. The ladies are at the table that I'm sitting at, and I says, oh, "By the way, if anybody wins tonight at this table, I'm telling you right now, I will lose all respect for you if you donate the money back to the club. If wow. you fucking win, the girl sitting right next to me fucking wins. I go, she's like, oh, I won. I go, you're keeping it. <laughs> and I stood up and I go, she won and she's keeping it. <laughs> and they were like, whoa. What the fuck? Oh my I was God. like, don't you get But don't we don't get. want that. We want people to win that night and give it back to the green dogs. So, so why do a 50 50? It's bullshit. It's pseudo. It's no, bull crap. No, listen, I want them to win. If I, I win the win. fucking 50 50, I'm putting my money in. If allowed. I win the You're fucking 50 50, I'm going to keep the fucking Anyone money. can buy raffles. And I'm giving it to the Hawks. The Hawks. There you go. There you go. The green Hawks. The green hawks. No, you know, yeah, it's a noble cause for children to give it back to kids, but I'm talking about a different situation here. Anyway, <laughs> what's up with the agenda? You, you just pulled a Richie on me. No. You did. Oh. You just fucking Richie. You just, you just Zarellied me. That's funny. Is that what it's called? Wait, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for somebody to respond. Maybe if it's the real Anthony Grazzi, they saying saying something. How come Mike Nicole is not on? Uh, <laughs> we'll get to that. Subject. Oh, we got a problem, with Mike. You know the whole subject. No, Let's I don't. Not... Last week you were in a good situation. I Mike. know. Uh, Mike and uh, I haven't spoken you... in four months. Really? Four months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
wow. you answered that. So let's not bring it up again. You know what was going on. He was doing some work. We were doing some work together. And he, you no, I thought everything was kosher. I seriously didn't. No. You're no. Italian. You just said kosher. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, no, what do you want me to say? He doesn't what like, word he, would he you doesn't like, to like me. He's all on the up and up. It's he, copacetic. It's he, good. He doesn't <laughs> like me anymore. No, he, doesn't like, he doesn't like me anymore. As, Aww, as do many people see? don't like me anymore. Correct? You know? Well, sometimes you do get on people's nerves, but, you know. I, not How that, could somebody not you know. like you? You're wait, likable. You're such a likable wait, hold on, person. Hold on. Anthony Grazzi days back. He says, don't, br don't bring up Mike unless you you know, take your shoes off. Ooh. Oh, that's somebody in. That's somebody in the. I in the wonder know who would know that's about Zarelli. that. That's Zarelli. Yeah, Zarelli. that's Zarelli. Rich, He's the only one in the Rich. Rich. We miss you, Rich. Uh, you, we Graz just pulled one of your deals over here. <laughs> that's Rich Zarelli. All right, well, Bobby Lacera, where is. are you? You're you're around, Mister Lacera. Yep. All right. Yep. We're gonna get out of here, Mister Lacera. You got is 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 my girl on? Oh, Can we nana. play my girl song? <laughs> Rihanna, oh Nana, is she around, Mr. Lacera? I know. It, it'll be right, okay. It'll be okay. You, you saw the Super Bowl have have show, right? I thought she, that was horrible. That was fucking horrible. That big fucking fat fuck standing there singing her fucking She's song. She's pregnant. I don't give a shit. She's feeling herself up on the fucking show. Get out of here. She was pregnant. I don't hear her. I would like her a little bit louder so I can hear I'm her. sorry. Anything I say over here is just my opinion. I don't give a fuck what anybody <laughs> thinks. You really are. And I hate Miley Cyrus, too. She's a pig girl. So. She's beautiful, Miley Cyrus. Are you kidding me? I think she's very sexy. Are you out of your fucking mind? Why? I think she's, she's very disgusting. sexy. She's disgusting. Uh, she's not disgusting. Let me tell you something right now. If she walked right in front of you right now and dropped the, dropped the drawers in front of you, you wouldn't. There would be a giant dildo still stuck on her. Because that's what I see when I see her. Anthony Grazzi, Limo Talk is oh, and that stupid fucking song that she stole from Bruno Mars. Get the fuck out of here. That was Zarelli the whole time. Limo Talk has officially been Zarelli. Great show, guys. Aww. I miss you. So miss <laughs> you, Rich. Rich, we... <laughs> I knew it. I'm telling you all night. All he right. was coming you back. It. Man, you called it. Was you called it. Taz, Taz says, "Hey guys, hey, Taz. and Rodney, as always, I enjoyed your and show. And I'll see you tomorrow Good night, night nine o'clock. All right, guys." Here we go. Tomorrow. See you for the tomorrow. great and powerful Bobby Inns 41 and Zarello, Inns41.com. For Tea Time with Teresa, Teresa Farrell. Catch her on Monday nights, Tea Time with Teresa. This week she'll have Ray Negron on, Doc Gooden, <laughs> David Cohn. Uh, your sister's uh, ass. This, uh, Mike Strahan, <laughs> Eli Manning. I was, I'm murdered by the mob. <laughs> Ray Come see her murdered by the mob show. <laughs> Catch her at the Argyle Theater. She'll be there for the whole month of June. Yeah. All right. Bobby Lacerra inside, who was very quiet with us tonight, but thank you very much. For Nicole Narayan, who did t the 10 at 10. 10 at 10. At Thanks 10 for coming on there, 9 iron. <laughs> Way to go. Good job. For Felix <laughs> for Felix Restucia, for the Anne. 69 iron. For Joan Kruby Hesha, <laughs> for Ann Rodney, for Greg DiFilippo, for Anthony Grazi a day. Oh, there you go. I can Lamonico, finally hear go. I want to go. For Demonico, I want to go. For Benny Rizzuti, who hung out with us tonight. For Taz, the resident artist who's probably listened to her other favorite podcast before she joined us tonight. Taz, I know the deal. I've been watching you. You better come back to Papa. Okay? Because I'm the only one at least. Come to Papa. I'm the only one at least to send your stuff out and puts it on a fucking t shirt. All right? Oh, we will be back next week as of right now because uh, my my daughter's going back to school next week. And yes. Is your any kids going away or doing anything next week? I'm thinking I'm going to go back to school next week. I really do. I think I'm going to take Robin with me to the school. We're going to go back to school. You doing any security? Uh, I'm doing a game on um, my security. What's today, day? Today's Sunday. Date. It is the. It is. It is. I'm doing an island again very soon. Twelve. I'm also doing next month. I'm doing two Blue Springsteen shows. Ooh. So come say hello to this gentleman right here. He's usually in the lower level at the. I'm at the lower levels in UBS bowels of fucking UBS Arena at the beautiful Belmont Park, where there's no parking. Richie Cirelli says, "Share the show, oh Nana." Grazi <laughs> Day. <laughs> because Bobby hates this so fucking much. Oh, I fucking hate it. I know it. I'm never changing it because it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Just, it's disgraceful. It's not disgraceful. Listen to ins and outs. It's, it's April 6th. Bobby Israel is the host. Billy Guy, Amaro Val, Kathy, Kathy Arnold, 
Teresa Canastrasi, Farrell, Christine Tin, Kristen Tinsley, Bonnie Scalisi, jo Justin McDonald, and Michael Zimmerman. Zimmerman. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Zimmerman wants to say goodnight to everybody. <laughs> For Teresa Fowl, for Bobby and Zarello, for Bobby Lacerra inside, for Richard Zarelli hacking the whole show tonight, for me, Anthony Grazzi Day, and for Nicole and Ryan. Thanks, Nicole. Good night. God bless. What do you think of that Ranger player that Ciao, popped the out of the guy's face? And you know what? He got three game suspension across from a game. He should have got a lot more. He should have got the whole season. Yeah. Tomorrow end, night, it's o'clock. Oh, yeah. Tea time. But tomorrow night, listen to Teresa Fowl. She'll have David Cohn, Michael Strahan. Ray Negron. I promise she won't be she won't be asking anybody how they like May to masturbate Tom or what their Angel. favorite sexual Tune position in. is. Jackie Ch <laughs> Jack ask no, Jackie the joke man that question. What's his favorite sexual oh, position? Oh, we'll ask him when he's here. All right, thank you. Oh, Jackie would who I wouldn't hesitate to ask him anything. Are you kidding me? He's gonna let loose when he comes I, I, and I'm yeah. looking forward he to it. He's let loose on my Tony show. Carey's coming soon, the holiday producer. Also, uh, uh Jackie the joke man, Scott Farrell is coming on and Oh, Jim Ferry's going to join us sometime in May. Ferry to the mercy. Raz a day. Jim Ferry, we have, it's been a while. Oh, wow. Yeah, we like to have Coach Jim Ferry. I got it out. See, I told you. I, he did. I did. You did. I said, Raz a day. Thank you for having me on, guy Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Listen, I wish you a lot of luck tomorrow night. I'll, I'll be, Thank you. I'll be here in two weeks for my giant appearance. You will. my giant card. And, uh, and hopefully when I come back, I'll be back with Jackie. The joke Fucking Lacerda didn't put any of the lights on this video. I was looking at no it's live on air. That that He's been sitting in the back all We night. are getting no frills here. Yeah. No frills. He, he doesn't even turn us. the fan on. <laughs> Shot in a beer, shot in a beer, shot in a beer, puke. But that's from that comes from Anthony Grazade. Oh. All right, good night. God bless. Yeah. For Bobby, for Teresa, for Grazade, for Bobby Lacerra, and for uh, Richard Zarelli. Good night. God bless. We'll see you next week. Put your nose oh, 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 no, no, Grazade. Oh, no, no, Nicole is gay. What?